All right, here we are. Welcome, welcome. What's going on, everyone? It's Abdali here, bringing you guys a full game walkthrough of Skeletech on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and of course, PC. Now, our friends over at Konami hooked us up with a code. They actually hooked us up with plenty of codes. We've got three extra codes that we're gonna be giving away on our Twitter. So make sure if you guys have not already seen um, on my pinned profile on Twitter, at Abdalination, it's right over here, um, we've got some codes to give away. So make sure you guys check out the rules of the giveaway. It's pretty much watching the video, retweeting, and following the accounts. But it's gonna be a really fun time. So I played a little bit of this game off screen. It is absolutely a gem. So if you guys like those kinds of games that, um, think of like Cuphead, think of Metroid, it's definitely a Metroidvania. Um, and yeah, it's absolutely very cute. And I don't know if you guys saw this like officially licensed Skeletech shirt Konami hooked us up with. And we also have this little baby. Ah, you'll find out who this is very, very soon. Anyway, it's like a little, little yarn Yoshi kind of, uh, little cutie thing here. Anyway, we'll find out who this is soon enough. It's uh, definitely one of the main characters. You may or may not see it on screen right now, but anyway. So, thanks so much for watching. Uh, Shoutouts again to our friends over at Konami. Good luck on the giveaway. Uh, we're gonna be choosing a winner within like seven days from now, so it's gonna be super easy. All right, um, I think the game's gonna be around maybe three hours. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have a lot of a lot of fun with this one. Uh, and I, I think that the art style and the overall gameplay is just really, really fun. So anyway, I hope that you'll enjoy it. Be sure to smash that like button if you do. It's good to see you guys as always. Uh, Snow Ghost is here, Romy, hey, BWA Switch, Little Carrot, Ming. Gemma's in the house, thank you. Uh, yeah, Jody's here too. Everard, hey, what's going on? ENG's here. Bobby, Jeremiah, Puffton, hi. Welcome. Welcome. Come now, Ember. Ember is her name. You can't really believe that. It's true. Why would I lie about this? You cannot honest, honestly believe that there is an... an what did you call it? An uber bat. Yes, an uber bat that is more beautiful and powerful than any other bat. I do believe it. The uber bat sees all. The uber bat knows all. The uber bat is all. Have you ever seen it? Uh, you, I don't need to see her. Not it. Her. Uh, show some respect. I just know she is there, watching over all battlings like myself, being generally amazing basically all the time. I think you sound unhinged. I think your jaw should unhinge. Anyway, after Vale is hopping tonight, uh, we better get a move on unless we want to miss out on all the fun. All right, so we can see here that this is uh, it's like a side scroller 2D, uh, pretty fun area. This is going to be the in case you collect any kinds of pages within the game. Uh, this is kind of like learning about the lore. So we're gonna find some secret pages floating around over here. The blacksmith will help upgrade your weapons, which is really fun. Uh, this area over here is where you can upgrade your special skills. Uh, we also have, this is the, the bar. I don't know what happens in the bar. Or uh, this is an old lady over here. And this dude is, uh, hi. You're looking for Elzadon. I believe I saw him in Goblin's Groblet. That old geezer loves to sing and dance like he's still fresh off his awakening. My crew and I are working on a comprehensive tunnel system that spans the entire dungeon. Feel free to use them whenever you'd like. Cabins are highly unlikely. So what this is, is this is a way of fast traveling to all the different areas in the game. So it's super cool. I love the fact that they implemented something like this. Because in, in a game, like you don't want to waste like 15 minutes trying to find out like where you were before. So anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's see where we have to go. Um, so something about, um, yeah, I don't know. I remember. Let's, <laughs> uh, I believe I saw him in Goblin's gro Goblet. Okay, got it. And what do you have to say? Keep an eye out for Bone Broth. Oh, yeah, yeah, Bone Broth. That's kind of cool. So let's see if we need to talk to people. Yo, here we go. The Goblin's Goblet. Bar and live music. Here we go. Um, Scully, Ember, so good to see you. I'm sure you understand why everyone's so excited uh, around After Vale. And After Vale is this little area that we're in over here. Sure, Elder. Uh, it's a welcoming. Uh, we got a new dead friend. Indeed, new dwellers means we've kept our secrets safe from escaping above ground. Besides that, what better way to celebrate the first day of the rest of your afterlife? I still remember my welcoming. Me too, you screamed a lot. Uh, it didn't help that you kept dive-bombing my head. Scully, 
Scully is his name. You've come a long way since you first arrived here. Once over the shock of being reanimated, you adapted to the dungeon like a demon to fire, quickly mixing into the dweller life, offering help as needed, making friends fast. Uh, you have an incredibly incredible ability to overcome, adapt, and thrive. And so, dear boy, I believe you're ready to start your remembrance. Hmm, I don't know, Elder. I've been quite content since my awakening. Dungeon Dweller's remembrance is a special time. It is what makes us whole. We see who we were and learn all there is to know about ourselves. Without the remembrance, your past comes back to you in pieces. It's very jarring. This induces the process, makes it more full and understandable. Hmm. Your point is well made, but I'm not sure I'm going to take anything away from it. Who I was is not who I am. Oh, dang. Ah, wonderfully put. Which is even further proof that you are ready. I suggest you get some rest tonight, young Scully. Tomorrow we'll begin your remembrance by having you travel the path of the warrior. Me? Uh, that means I was a warrior in my past life? Many more exciting truths lie ahead. I will only tell you to prepare yourself as the path of warrior is very challenging, but I know you'll make it and I'll be there to greet you at the end when you finish. For now, the last torch is to be snuffed. Rest up for tomorrow. Very well. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, what's so important about remembering who I was anyway? Uh, how should I know, Skulls? I was born down here. There's nothing for me to remember. Shucks. What? I find myself feeling oddly jealous that I don't have a secret backstory to learn about. What self-respecting bat would ever be jealous of a skeleton? I have shamed all of bat kind. I'll be serious for a second, Ember. Uh, what if I don't want to know who I was? What if I learned something I don't like? Skulls, you're way overthinking this, and you don't even have a brain to think with. Every skeleton I have ever known has gone through remembrance with the help of Elzadon. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. You can trust him. If he says it's time, well, then it's time. Okay, okay. Besides, the night is young, and by the uber bat, I'm going to enjoy myself. I would appreciate if my best friend would join me in doing so. What do you want to do, bat? Not sure. I wish we could enjoy this without having to get lost in the chaos. I think I have the perfect idea. Okay, so we got Scully, and we got Ember. Scully uh, doesn't, I guess, like, as a skull, you don't know who you are until you go through, like, the remembrance. This, this is perfect. Isn't it, though? I wish the uber bat was here to see this. Could life possibly get any better? How should I know? I see what you did there, you undead jokester, you. Cute, huh? All right, what do you guys think? Artwork looks pretty great. Ember, it's time to go. The other's probably already waiting for me. Get dressed. You're so funny. You should stretch. Get your muscles ready for the path of the warrior. Too mean. Love you. <laughs> okay. Got it. All right. Path of the warrior. Okay. So you can see that there's an in-game currency on the top right, which is going to be like little blue crystals. You could use those to pay for things such as upgrades. You've got a health bar in the top, uh, top left. So top right is the currency, top left is the other thing, is the, um, the health bar. What if I fail, Ember? Uh, what if I'm not meant to know who I was? What if I'm uh, not up to the challenge, uh, the challenges I am to face on the path of the warrior? What if question, uh, what if is a question that doesn't come with an answer, Skulls. You've got to give it a shot. As for whether or not you're ready to take on the path of the warrior, I would never let anything bad happen to you, dummy. Besides, you're awesome, you got this. You're the best, Ember. I suppose I'll give it a go. I'm ready, let's do this. So, Ember is by far the best character. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, so yeah, let's go in. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so now this is where you start learning a little bit about how to uh, play the game. Uh, it's a little tutorial, so you can so you can see that you can run and you can jump, and then you have a double jump. Um, this over here is going to be wall jumping by pressing the left and right button only. So you just press left and right as you're dragging along. Seems pretty simple. Just kind of jump over here and then uh, move your way forward. Uh, and then this is a key door. We're going to need a key. So we're going to look around over here and see if we can find some sort of key. All right, let me see. Oh, what do you know? The key's right there. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, okay, Boney. You know how this works. If something uh, untimely happens while you're gallivanting around in the dungeon and you suddenly cease to exist, you'll find yourself back on the immortal coil, uh, whichever one of these blue flames you last pass. Strolling past the blue flames will automatically save your progress. So here we go, it's an auto save spot. These little crystals right there, those things will absolutely destroy you in one hit. 
Think of Mega Man and Spikes, or um, I don't know, give me another in-game equivalent where you touch it once and you instantly die. And, oh yeah, exactly like that, great. <laughs> well, that's one death. Who's gonna be death count crew? Actually, um, I wanted to play a little game with you guys. I wanted to play a game where uh, we made a guess. We made a guess of how many deaths I'll incur throughout the entire game, right? The game actually keeps track of all your deaths, so in a little bit, I want you guys to find out. Uh, I want you guys to ask yourselves, how many times is Abdallah gonna die in this game? And then, by the end of the game, we'll take a look at how many deaths it was. It'll be really fun. It'll be a fun game that we can play. I don't know what we should give the winner, <laughs> besides, like, a shout out. Yeah, that hurt, kind of. Okay, so once I get out of this cave, then I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll ask you guys what you think. And then I'll show you guys exactly what we have to do. Scully, look! What the? I'm, I'm sending this old wretch away, corpse scum. Somewhere you can't find him. The undead will be vanquished, and all the humans shall thrive. Elzadon. Oh, gosh. Alright, so we got a bone sword. This legendary weapon was once used by a mighty warrior to defend the dungeon. It was left here in the shrine, unused for centuries until now. So, what we have here is um, a sword that we can do a lot of work with. We shall prevail. Where's the Elder? Uh, he's ours. The Raid Bells. Let's go. Alright, so you guys saw over here that um, I quickly made work of that dude. You can stand still and do like a little combo if you really want to, but then you're kind of limited to just being right over there. Um, if you know anything about Super Smash Bros, uh, hands up in the comments if you played Super Smash Bros before. Um, if you know anything about Super Smash Bros, the short hop functionality and doing little attacks while you're short hopping is really going to be key to maximizing and optimizing your run in this game because you're able to put out so many different hitboxes while moving at the same time. So if you guys are familiar with short hopping in Smash Bros, it's exactly this. So you can do a short hop double, uh, short hop, <laughs> short hop double neutral air. Oh my gosh, wow, it sounded like Smash Bros up in here. Okay, anyway, so we made it out of here. So, apparently, the town elder has gotten stolen. Um, the humans are invaded. Yeah, so the humans came through and they completely stole the elder. Scully, Ember, they're not, they're not even trying to take the treasure. They're walking right past everything. They're just marching and torching and how many are there? Too many to count, it's an army. They've been coming in through the sewers. They'll likely be heading back that way too. No other technical positions outside of there. Besides, they're wanting to disrupt our water supply. Even though we're not reliant on it, human villages are. They can't help but think like humans. Uh, what on ghoul's great earth are you staring at? Did you just hear yourself? What are you, some military genius all of a sudden? Well, I mean, that is to say, Whatever, uh, it made a lot of sense. So what should we do, head into the sewers? Uh, Jab, tell whoever will listen that Imber and I are off to try to find the Elder. We're gonna take care of these humans too, if there's anything we can do. How are we gonna stop them? I'm not sure, but we have to try. Okay, Scully, you and Imber be careful. Okay, so before we go into there, this is what we were talking about. This is the death counter in the game. At the very end, maybe we'll take a look at it, at least before the final boss, we'll take a look at it. Um, and then we'll be on like death count crew so you guys can do that and like if you want to play on board with like death count crew You got to put like a little skull emote and then the number after it. So anyway, let's do a little bit of guessing right now I think it'll be really fun. How many deaths will I go through in this entire full game playthrough? I'm good at platformers, but I'm not good at This platformer. I don't know. Maybe how many deaths go ahead. Over 300, wow. So right now, every single one of you guys are gonna be on live chat replay. So when we go through and we watch this video upload on YouTube, we'll absolutely see exactly what number is there. And the closest one, I guess I'll take a look at it and maybe I'll, I'll give you a shout out later. The closest one. Anyway, so one vote right now, all of you guys that are watching. 
Tell me in the comments, how many times will I die? Probably like two, right? I accidentally died once, and I'm not gonna let that happen again. <laughs> Probably like two, right? No, I'm just messing with you guys. Alright, cool, let's go. Okay, uh, we're gonna go in here. Okay, so let's hit this. Uh, trying to get inside the sewers? I try the big old pipe up there. Alright, so anyway, let's jump in. I don't have a lot of health. You'll also notice that, oh my gosh, help me. Um, you don't necessarily have to wall jump left and right. You can actually cling the entire wall the entire time. Uh, one wall the entire time. It's so nice to see new faces around here. Who the heck are you? If you two are looking for the humans, then you gotta keep going. If I was a betting woman, which I am not, I'd guess they were headed for upper sewers. If you see my husband, Norm, tell him I don't care what's going on in the sewers. He better not be late for dinner. All right. Okay. That's a cat. Okay, so I don't know if I can go. Yeah, I don't think I can go that way. Hi, cat. Oh, dang, there's a key right there. All right, I'm not going to get eaten by an alligator. Oh my gosh, I have to. So if there's moss coverings on the side, I have to be a little bit careful uh, because I can't wall jump on the moss coverings. Oh my gosh, I could have landed right on that dude. All right, here we go. So we got the key, we're all set. There's a, oh my gosh, yikes. Those were spikes that were just in my face right there. Oh dude, chill, man. Okay, so he gave me a little bit of health recovery, which is great. Uh, I see over here, there's only one way out. See this right here? This little thing is a, a book of lore or a page of lore. Remember I talked to you guys about the uh, the other area? I told you about the little library where you can uh, redeem all the pages of lore. So we'll, uh, we'll have to look at that a little bit later. Oh man, I'm getting, oh, I'm getting nailed by these little things here. All right. Oh, that right there. Hold on. That little slime. Okay. This little slime is a healer. So it's green because it heals the, um, yeah, it heals your health, which is great. And the blue one uh, will heal your magic once we get magic abilities. Yeah, you don't have to wall jump. That's another advanced technique right there. All right, so I need to somehow find a way over here. Okay, got him. All right, I don't know if I want to take that. Oh my gosh, look at me risking my life. <laughs> risking my life for one little measly uh, crystal here. That's kind of lame. All right, so judging from this map, we have like three or four different areas that we, we can go to. So I'm going to do my best to not lose. Like that. Oh my gosh. That was like a leap of faith. Oh my gosh. Like you have to be on point with your jumps. This is so fun. Like I think that that's great. It's like a Mario game almost. All right, here we go. Uh, yeah, what to do, what to do. There we go, beautiful, beautiful. Need a key, I do not have. A little skull area, okay, that's kind of cool. Let me see. Oh, that's Enderman. Enzo, hi buddy. Come on, wow. <laughs> Mr. German. All right, anyway, what do we got here? Can I do a double jump through that? There we go, there we go. Oof, I'll, I'll shred it, oh my gosh. Ow, wow, wow, stop though. Okay, there's our key. Oh my, I'm dead, man, I'm so dead. Yo, I'm getting shredder. You, help. All right, anyway. Okay, we're good. Whew. 
Okay, so this is the bottom area. Let's see. Dead! Dead! Number two! Oh, man. <laughs> I got shredded because I jumped up. There's no good. Alright, there's number two. Death count number two, you got it? Oh, three! Ouch! Come on! Oh, man. How am I gonna get that stuff back? It's gone, dude. It's gone. I can't. Now you see exactly how easy it is to die in this game. Dang, man! I'll hit him through the bottom, dude. Yo, and see, the, the thing is, is like, you can... Um, you can get some of your little gems back. Oh, Shredder. You can get some of your gems back? If, uh, if you simply just go get them, right? There's an opportunity to reclaim some of them. Oh, dude, he sliced me. Ow! Ow, though! Ow! <laughs> ah! Okay, you want some of this? Come here. Alright. Oh, that's a health potion. I need, I need that. Hey! Dead! Come on! <laughs> oh, my goodness. Alright, that's fine. Whatever. Oh my gosh, that thing shredded one fourth of my health. Gone. I should have went under this guy. Okay, here we go. Uh, I don't know which way to go. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the checkpoint really quick, and I don't know if it's even worth going down here. Like, what is that for? Oh my gosh, help me. <laughs> we ow, 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 ow. Okay, that was totally not worth it. All right, whatever. So I made a little bit of bank from doing that. Oh, <laughs> all right, let's go up here. You, you want some? Oh, okay, he does. Yo. That short hop, come here. Oh, I'm gonna get shredded by that thing. All right, good. We're making some bank. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Um, I did that for what reason, though? Hmm. Well, let's. I can't even see. Oh my gosh, I can't even see. I cannot even see right now because I'm in the way. All right, can I make this? Sweet. All right, even more money. Good work. Okay, okay. Here we are. What's up, dude? What's up, dudes? Hi, it's me. Uh, so this guy sells things. You can occasionally find him. Okay, so what this is over here, this is called the bone broth. And every time you purchase one of them, it permanently increases your health bar. So it only makes sense to buy it. So we're going to extend our health bar just a little bit. And then uh, we're out of here. Three deaths? That's not too bad. <laughs> I'm gonna- Ouch! Ouch, though. Three deaths, man. Come here. I wonder if someone can play through this entire game without dying once. Dude, what? The little bear traps, man. I don't know if I should go down or up. Um, there's two options. Oh yeah, if I go down, ooh, ouch. If I go down, there's a pipe that allows me to get a treasure chest. Yeah, yeah, we saw this. Yeah, big monies, big monies. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we got this, here we go. Oh my gosh, ow, ouch, what in the world? Okay, okay, what is this? Death count four. What do you mean four? Okay, yeah, we should be at four. I guess. Uh, well, I'm dead, so uh, let me see what I got here. <laughs> oh my gosh. If I was that guy, I would have been pretty upset that the skeleton's just, uh, just doing that nonsense to me. 
The tunnel is nearly finished. Okay, so now, remember I talked to you guys about fast travel earlier. If you want to go back to the plaza at any given time, you can take this little mine, and then you can head over there, which is super cool. Okay, so there's two different... Oh, one path that I can take, and it's going to be right this way. I'm probably going to die soon, so... Oh, here we go. Huh. Upon careful inspection, I've deduced that you cannot jump over this chasm. No kidding. This is bad. We need to get to the upper sewer. I don't know, Skulls. It seems kind of like we're out of luck here. Unless you plan on growing wings in the next few seconds, we have no choice but to leave. Ember, you're a genius. Those ventilation fans down there. Yeah, not worth it. Yeah, what about him? Why are you sm- Oh, no. No, 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 no. If you think, even for a single second, that I'm going to pick me up and fly me across. You are carving up the wrong corpse here, pal. If those fans are on, they should blow hard enough for you to help uh, to help you lift me. Ugh. Look, we don't even know how to turn the fans on. What's the point of discussing it? Dinner? What the? Hey, I think they want us to follow them. It can't hurt anything. Maybe we'll find our way around if we keep on their tail. Was that a pun? What do you mean? Rats have tails. I know. Got it. Not a pun. <laughs> Let's get going before we lose them. Got it. Not a pun. What do you mean? Up there. The rats. Oh my gosh. Alright, what do you think the rats are going to do? Predictions in the comments. What do you think the rats are going to do? Halt! State your business, skinny man. You too, flying filth. Uh... We're Scully and Ember. We're here to satisfy our extreme curiosity. Your curiosity means nothing. We are devoid of curiosity pertaining to your curiosities. Yeah, devoid. I really think your fellows wanted us to come here. Oh, well, in that case, you're free to enter. Ugh, Cecil, honest to goblins. Sorry, scum. Just give me a minute and I'll continue reprimanding you. Okay. Remember what I told you about unwelcome strangers, how they lie when they want something? I recall no such conversation, no. I told you that when an unwelcome stranger says something, they're probably lying. And you shouldn't let them in without knowing uh, they are supposed to be here. Oh, yes, now I remember. So do you think we should let them in right now? Mmm... I do. No, you don't. You're adult, Cecil. Password. Huh? If you want to gain entry, give us the password. Yeah, it starts with the word nothing, includes better than in the middle bit, and ends with a cheese that rhymes with better. How many of you guys know a cheese that rhymes with better? Psh, what do you guys like, cheese connoisseurs? First one to name a cheese that rhymes with better gets it. Cheddar? What? Jack? And, and Christy? And Renee? Feta? Yeah, <laughs> Feta for sure. <laughs> I honestly can't believe you managed to live this long while being this stupid. Honestly, uh, uh, nothing is better than cheddar? Open the gates, I give up, just go. Bye, Scully and Ember, I love you. Ugh. Yo, Cecil though, come on, man. You can't be knocking on Cecil. Cecil's just trying to, trying to understand his guard duties. Don't be knocking Cecil. How dare you. Oh, here's the king, the rat king. Speak! Holy creep, look at the size of that rat! <laughs> Uh, you dare res disrespect the Rat King? Oh, n no disrespect, Your Grace. I was just explaining to you, my simple friend, he has no idea what's going on, ever. Hey! Yes, hello to you too, dummy. See? I'm not amused. Make your uh, machinations known. What are you going to tell him? Uh, give me a second to think. I might have a way we can turn this around. Your Grace, I believe your royal servants had, had, has led us to you. My loyal subjects would never bring outsiders such as yourselves to my throne room. I'm certain this is true, your magnificence, at least under normal circumstances. But, as I'm sure you already knew, something terrible has been happening in the sewers. Of course, I know of what you speak. I have eyes all over the underground. Nothing happens in these dungeons that I do not immediately learn. Then you must also know how much of a threat this invasion poses to all dungeon life. Hmm. In fact, I think they know of the fight we've been bringing to these invaders. If victorious, we would end any threat that all of this might pose to your throne. I'd be without honor if I didn't tell you that my kingdom may, in fact, be in danger. 
The humans have laid traps and killed scores of my people as they've stalked these halls. What's more, the human scourge has absconded with the sewer's food reserves. My people are hungry and weak, unable to tend to their daily duties. I can't even get a breath of fresh air thanks to the ventilation system being powered down. I cannot ask my people to power them by running on their wheels in such a weakened state. Psst, skulls, that's it. The rats power the vent fans. So I shall let you leave my land safely and honor you and your loud friend as guests. If you bring back food to my kingdom, find the stolen food reserves and return them. Will you do this for me? Hmm, will you do this for me? All right. Of course, your excellence will be on our way immediately. Very well then. You're free to leave. Do not return until you bring what was promised. Okay, so we gotta go find the food reserves. Once we find the food reserves, we'll be able to use the rats to power up the vent fans, and then we can fly, potentially, right? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, let's see. This map says that there's a couple things on top. So let's explore these little nooks and crannies up top here. Yeah, there we go. Making some money. Not bad. Oh, some lore pages. Cool, cool. Okay, so yeah, there's a couple ways. We can go down and then up, or then down, over, up, and then up and down. So there's a, yeah, there's a couple different spots where we have to go. Okay, so it looks like this place is blocked because there's a little switch right there. So I can't, oh gosh. Oh, leaps of faith! Oh no! Oh, 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 leaps of faith. <laughs> Alright, what's that count? Five? Where did I drop my stuff? Oof! <laughs> Why are you counting how many times I died? Oof! Ouch. Oh my gosh, help me. Okay, so I can't go up, but I can go up here. Five. We gotta be at five. What's up, rat? Okay, five deaths, man. That's not too bad. Alright, let's take a look at this. Okay, maybe there's something down here. Okay, we're gonna go the bottom path and see what's up. Yo, what's up, dude? How do I get up there? Oh, okay, I see this little, uh... Huh? Oh, gosh, help me. Little arrows all over the place. Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, calculated, calculated. Ow! Ow! <laughs> These little arrows are pelting me. All right, come on, man, let's go. Come on, Scully, oof. Oh, whoa, nice. Ow, dude, what hit me in the bottom? Get out, oh my gosh, yeah, right in the buns. Ow! <laughs> get up there, oh my gosh, get up there. Oh, thank you. Scully Ember, aren't you a sight for perfectly comfortable eyes? Hello, mage. What are you doing all the way out here in the sewers? I just came to tell you I am immensely proud of the progress you've already made. I've watched from afar as you've made your journey, and I must say, you have an un unerring uh, wit, and you are a deft hand at battle. Well, thank you for saying, but my devil, are you feeble. You couldn't even knock over an item that was already in the state of falling over. Hey, which is why I brought you this. What are you doing to Ember? Well, aside from being a wonderful travel companion, she is a loyal friend. So I think I will take the liberty of declaring her your familiar. She can now aid you in your quest truly, at, and truly act as a kindred spirit in all things. Oh, is that what that tingly feeling was? That feeling, my little collagen-packed confidant, is healing magic. As weak as you are, and holy creep, are you weak. <laughs> Get on with it, mage! This magical spell... I uh, will help you fortify your strength and bring you back to full health. No longer will a breeze uh, across your frail, worthless form cause, uh, cause you indescribable agony. Your bat friend can cast magic for you, making you tip-top all over again. Anyway, my brave, smart, young, strong friend. Ta-ta. He is so strange, right? I really like him. Let's get back to it then. 
Okay, this spell can fix all sort of bumps and bruises, equip it as soon as possible, and use it to heal those weary bones. Okay, so we have it now. If you press the A button, you can use that blue magic bar to kind of heal up your, uh, your life, which is great. So now my death toll will be remarkably lower because I can kind of heal myself every now and then. But getting magic in this game is actually pretty hard. So let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here. Okay, uh, let's do this. I love that. I love clinging up one wall. It's just so fun. All right, here we go. Oh, my head. <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy. Thank you. I need this money. Oh my goodness, just take it. Just take the damage, dude. I could heal up some of that stuff. We're good. I got a little bit of magic left. Oh, I got a melon and his name is Dave. Oh, you guys see that melon right there? Silly and delicious, full of seeds and brave. Is that a watermelon? Where'd you get the melon from? Gub Gub found Dave outside the room of num nums. Gub Gub? Room of num nums? That's my name. Gub Gub. I'd like to be your friend, is that okay? Gubbub loves making new friends. Clackety man and flappity girl are Gub Gub's friends. Great, so I have to ask Gub Gub. <laughs> Where's the room where you found Dave? Up that a ways, Gub Gub found Dave outside room all alone. I rescued him, we friends now. You were eating him. Gub Gub, a big stress eater. Gub Gub stressed because he lost Mr. Tinky. Who's Mr. Tinky? Only the bestest kitty in the whole world. Mr. Tinky ran after the Mousies three dinners ago. Gub Gub can't find him anywhere. Mr. Tinky should not be alone. Gub Gub been alone for most of his dinners, since he was a little gublet. Imber, I wonder if the, if his kitty is somewhere around here. I haven't seen a kitty way down here, but we can keep an eye out. That should be enough for you, Skulls. Gub Gub, we're gonna try to find Mr. Tinky, okay? Really? You know scared of humans and rat traps? We're not scared of anything, fella. You really are friends of Gub Gub. All right, what's up, Gub Gub? All right, Gub Gub, nice to nice to e meet you, dude. But uh, no, we got work to do, so we gotta go find Mr. Tinky. Oh, I want that. Ouch! What hit me? Oh my gosh! I don't even see those things. This little trap here. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's just go. Thank you, Gub Gub. Help me! Oh my gosh, that hurts so much. How? How do I do this part? Yeah! <laughs> oh, death. An easy death right there. Dang it. Uh, check this out. Bling. Gub gub, man. Where are we at? Six? Seven? Hey, there you are. Hi. We found- you found Mr. Tinky. His owner is probably worried sick. So do you guys think that Mr. Tinky was once alive? And then now Mr. Tinky is, uh, no longer alive? And skeletized because it's been like three days in the sewer? Uh, or do you guys think that- ouch, what in the world? Can I not jump up there? Or do you think that, um, wow. The alternate seems to be... No way! Oh my gosh, help me. Help me. Ouch. Oh, dang. Look, uh, look at that mountain of food. I'm more concerned with the big axes those humans are brandishing at us. We can take them easy, easy as pie. A food pun? Really? Must you always go for the low-hanging fruit? That's the spirit. You guys want some of this? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's not cool. You have traps everywhere. That's cheating, dude. One quick death, that stunk. Whoa, what is this? 
Excuse me. Did I just jump through the wall? That's kind of cool. It's a little hidden spot there. I've never seen that. I keep on getting owned by these spikes. They hurt a lot. Alright, so we found Mr. Tinky. Oof! Oh my gosh, I'm dying. And I have no magic to heal. Help me! Mr. Tinky, I have him. I gotta go find Gub Gub. Where the heck's Gub Gub? Uh, I think Gub Gub's up up. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> I... Okay, not this. I'm gonna eat probably like two bullets and die. Oh, one. Oh no. Here it comes. Here it comes. Death number what? Eight. Oh my gosh. Can I not swim underground or underwater? No, I'm a skeleton. Do. I usually just take that, man. I usually just take the hit. Oof. Take the hits, guy. Just take them. <laughs> oh, ouch. I don't want to mess around. Like, let's go. Mr. Tinky, is it really you? Gub Gub miss you bunches and bunches. Wow, I'm actually getting emotional seeing these two reunited. Same here, Skulls. This is a real tearjerker. Tears are what we call it when water falls out of these things we call eyes. I know you may not remember what those are. I know what tears are, Ember. Gub Gub loves Mr. Tinky. He also loves Clackety Man and Flappity Girl. Gub Gub will tell everyone about the brave boy and girl who saved Mr. Tinky. No need, Gub Gub. We didn't do it to be praised. But if you do tell us about us, make sure they know my wings were dark as night and my teeth sharper than a freshly honed blade. Oh, jeez. Come on, Ember. We gotta get going. Here, take these for saving Mr. Tinky. Gub Gub got no use for sheeny, shiny pieces anyways. Oh, wow. Thanks, Gub Gub. See ya, Gub Gub. Bye, Flappity Girl. Okay, so we got uh, that flame ember. And this is pretty much just giving us a whole bunch of money. So now we have 225 monies. Uh, so what I really want to do soon, oof, help, help, help. What I want to do soon is go back to town the moment I have the ability to, because we can use our in-game currency to power up, to power up ourselves and our, our little healing abilities. Okay, so I need to go back to the Rat King now. Okay, so it's just pretty much linear. Yeah, I gotta go linear to the Rat King. Oh! Oh, that hurt. Oh my gosh, that almost double hurt. Oh my gosh, help me. <laughs> there we go. What's up, Rat King? Yo, we found all your food. You've done it. You've brought our food stores back. The dungeon will be fed and tended to once more. I'm a mouse of my word. You two are honored guests in this kingdom for the remainder of my reign. Indulge yourselves, my friends. You've earned it. I'd rather not, our friend. You see, the Elder. He's been taken by the very same humans that made off with the sewer, uh, sewer's food stores. Indeed, my skeletal friend. You need only ask for my assistance. My people will lend whatever aid we can. Those ventilation fans. If they're powered, I can travel through the upper sewers. Is that all, my dear boy? Why didn't you say so sooner? To the fans, you lot. Our most trusted emissary requires our assistance. Expect further help from me on your travels. Uh, what are your names again? Scully. Ember. Mm, yes, dearest Scully and Ember. Safe travels and come and see me when you can. We will. Okay, so this is great. Now we can leave out of here. I want to go back to the main town so that we can upgrade some stuff. And then we should be all set and ready to go. Sir, so, Ow, dude, chill! Oh, death count eight. Ooh, good thing you were already dead or this would have been painful. What the heck, man? I just ate that little, little piece of damage. I hope there's some like healing in town. <clears throat> so what do you guys think of the game so far? Pretty cool, right? Let's talk about it in the comments. What do you, uh, what do you enjoy about it so far? This is like the first chapter-ish of where we're at. I don't think we've beaten the first chapter yet. We're very close. Okay, the real juice is found within the mundane. Okay, currently making something nothing out of magic. Okay, so this is great. So what we're gonna do right now is your magical efficiency is increasing. Uh, you can use, uh, let's see. Healing won't use as much magic, so I'm gonna do that. And then I don't have 25 more crystals or else I would have bought this which is going to be like you heal a lot more every single time. 
I don't honestly know if there's a, a free way of healing in the game. Like, I, I, I would expect the game to allow me to go inside my own house and, like, rest up a little bit. But that doesn't seem to be the case. So anyway, we're going to go inside our um, little area here. Or maybe I go inside the bar. Maybe I go inside the bar and get a drink or something? No, they, you don't do anything. Okay, I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> I would think that there would be a way to like quickly ease your, um, heal your health in case you're going for like a no death run or something like that. No clue. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Might as well just die and get it over with. Can you stop? Thank you. 31. I need like 50. 150. Okay, Amber. The moment we've been waiting for. I've not been waiting for this. I hate this. You will never speak of this to anyone. Ever. Your secret is safe with me, my friend. Let's go! All right. Whee! All right, so right now what we have over here is a little um, stamina meter for, for Ember. And look at how, like, happy we are. Don't die, don't die. These are like death crystals. Oh gosh, I was supposed to go that way. That's death. Oh my gosh, help me. Okay, heal up. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's go, baby. Take me away. Look at how happy Scully is. Oh my gosh. Yo, shredded! Oh, ho, 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 ho. what? Oh, mama mia. I just got sh I did not even see that, to be honest. I was not assessing ahead. Ouch! Two in a row? I'm losing my money! Ugh. Yo, mama mia, dude. There has to be an easier way. Below. Yeah, go below. I can't get my money back. That's just, like, too risky. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. I'm out of stamina. Oh my gosh, ha! Oh, oh good. <clears throat> Alright, here we go, here we go. Yeah. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No, it's over! Oh my gosh, help me, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Just shred me all the way down. Still so bad. Where do I have to go? I'm gonna get my stuff though. Oh my gosh, Ember, go, go, go! <laughs> oh my goodness. How many times did I die there? What's the death count? Holy cow, save me. I need 150, please. May I have 150? I lost a lot of my money doing that nonsense right there. Eleven? We're at eleven. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh help me! Oh help me! <laughs> oh well, yeah, so much for eleven. Why did I go down there? Just for some lore I don't care about right now? Oh my gosh. Well, it's secret, so I guess that's kind of cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. So what were your predictions earlier? Were you guys in like the 50s, the hundreds? Yo, this is like the first chapter. And the first chapter is not even done yet, and I got uh, at least 11, man. This game is not, it's not a, an easy game, guys. That's the, that's the thing, it's not an easy game. I just lost all my money, trying to get more money. No! Oh my, I'm not even gonna go there. Why, why? I'm just losing my money. Forget that. Yo! Shredder. Oh, I can't! You can't! <laughs> no! 
<laughs> you can't, with the water that's pushing you down, you honestly cannot go upwards in it. Like, you can't swim up against it. So, you're just gonna get shredded. Ouch. Okay, anyway, 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 let's go. Okay. Glad that's over with. Who the heck are you? You're gonna be... There are gonna be some uh, locked doors up ahead. Uh, I keep a spare key just in case I leave mine at home. Where in the sewers? I can't remember exactly. It's in a room west of here. Thanks, Norm, I guess. Dwellers aren't great with specifics, are they? Alright, so now this little blob helps heal your uh, magic. So as long as you stand on it, you get your magic back. So it's in a room west of here, he says. So let's do this. Yeah, I'm not about to do that, so... Let's go back. Alright, here we go. A room west of here. So we're going west. Oh, inside this thing. And we're gonna look for this key. Oh, the key's right there. Easy peasy. Alright, hopefully I can get back to 150 right now. That's kind of what I was aiming for. Before all those, like, vent fans destroyed me and those, like, instant spikes. No, oh, come on, though. Ouch, man. Get out of here. Give me that stuff. Oh, how do I do this? Oh, my gosh, without dying. Okay, I can't even, I cannot see. All right, well, I don't even want to touch that stuff. That's not even worth getting. But I want to get it. <laughs> Why did I go this way? There's nothing here. Just for money? Yeah, I'm going to die right here. Watch. Because look, the water is going to push me through and then I can't make it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. Skills. Alright, speaking of skills. Water. Don't push me into spikes. Dude, he slices me in half. He's so strong, that guy. Alright, I don't need that. I do need this, though. Or do I? Oh my gosh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Leaps of faith! Help me! <laughs> Wee! Kuwaiki! Oh my gosh! Oh, dead! I knew, I knew I was gonna die to that. Whew. Okay, I need to do this very carefully, and I need to get my money back. That's my money right there that I'm trying to get. 150, but I lost again. <laughs> okay, stop. Stop, the money's not even worth it. Forget about it. You know what? It's just lost money. Forget it. I can't get it. It's gone. I got my key. I'm out of here. I'm risking too much money to try to get this 150. I need it though. Okay, so I got a key. I don't know where the door is. So let's do this and let's look around. Okay, so here we are. In this little single area, uh, there's two spots that I can go. To the bottom right. We leap of faith. Here's a key. Beautiful. I can beat you up. And there's another guy up there I can beat up for some money. Ow. And then there's a... Ooh, look at this guy. Five hits on these fools. 120. I swear if I had like 20 more... Oh my gosh, into an alligator's mouth? Excuse me. <laughs> In, that's the first time I died to an alligator. Get out of here. What's this? Money. Better be equating to money soon. It's 126. Oh, that's a big one. 151. Mew. Pokemon. I choose you. All right, let's go. I'm going to go back. Oh my gosh, don't die, don't die, don't die. I'm not going to touch those. I'm not. I'm going to wait patiently. And we're going back to town. I'm going to get my upgrade so I don't have to worry about money anymore. And we're out of here. Whew. Retro Entertainment says, man, this game looks good, but brutal. I like it because there's, there's no luck involved. Every single death is 100% on you and your miscalculated jumps or anything like that. So I think that that's really, really fun. Uh, so anyway, there's my 156. We're gonna buy this right now. So now uh, the healing powers have increased. So every time I heal, it's gonna heal a lot more. And since I bought both of the healing upgrades, 
I can mitigate some of the magic loss every time I do it. So we're just, we're ready, man. We are absolutely ready. Okay, so we're out here in the upper sewers. We're going to find out where these humans are and uh, let's knock it out together. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the game as much as I am though. Seriously, it's a cool game. Okay, uh, back in the sewers here, great. I have six monies, so I don't honestly care if I lose right now because I'm not gonna really lose that much. Okay, so right here, I think I'm going in the bottom section according to the map, let's see. No, this is the top section according to the map. All right, so let's see what's up. I don't honestly know where I have to go. Little interlude. Oh, that guy's cranking something away. Just fully cranking, lefty loosey, man. Okay, watch out, spikes are all over the place. Oh my gosh, wait, the, the water's actually raising? Oh my gosh, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, I was doing so well. Yo, when that extra wall jump just kicks in and gives you that unwanted boost. You. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's so funny. Mia Williams, what's going on? Good to see you. Thanks so much for the super chat. There we go. There we go. Don't touch me. It's your birthday. Yo, what's up? Happy birthday. Okay, so we just made a new tunnel and we're all set. There's a little bit of magic healing. Let's go beat up that guy that was trying to drown us. Whoa, here we go. Chapter boss. Oh, you are what the corpses send to defeat me. <laughs> you have no chance against me, puny corpse and fragile flying ball. I'm here to take what's rightfully ours. What you no longer need. What the dead don't deserve. I'm here to end all of you so we can bring the spark back home. Time to die for good, foul creature. Uh, speak your name, you lumbering fiend. I want to remember you by what you're called, not what you scream. Oh, I am Biff's Bear's Bane. That's a really, really stupid name. Okay, Biff's Bear's Bane. Okay. Oh, ouch. That kind of hurt. No, what did he throw? Excuse me. Oh, he's throwing axes. That's kind of... Whoa, and a flying hammer that goes all over the place? That's kind of cool. Congrats. Whatever, I'll take you on. Right here. 1v1. Let's go. 1v1 me. You want this? The blue flame. Uh, is this the spark he was talking about? Why would the humans want dungeon flames? I'm curious too, but real quick, we just decimated decimated that giant idiot. You're amazing. We are amazing. Where did you learn a fight like that? Holy creep. I have no idea. Everything is becoming so strange. It doesn't matter now. We have nothing in our way. We have to try to catch up to El the elder in the greenery. Let's get going. Yeah! Okay, Brutish Blitzkrieg. Become an unstoppable force with this attack. Hold down the attack button to charge up before charging through whatever stands in your way. And we get a whole bunch of payment, about 50 of them. So if you hold the Y button, you're gonna be able to fly across. So now you have a, a way cool new skill in your repertoire. So super fun, man. What'd you guys think of that boss battle? Pretty interesting, right? He threw the axes in his like second half, some random hammer that kept on bouncing all over the place. Um, kind of cool. 
Oh, dude, really? You little turds. Oh! Anyway, uh, so yeah, here we are in the greenery. And you can see the map of the greenery. You can go home if you wanted to, but we're all right. So this guy is just gonna fire shots while I shred him. Oh, speaking of getting shredded. Oh man, come on, dude. I don't think so, not today. Not twice at least. You got me the first time, right? I don't think this is safe. Oh, cool. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that thing. The Venus flytraps, dude. You better watch yourselves. Dude, get out of here. That's impossible. <laughs> How do I do that without dying? Give me- Oh, my gosh. I want my money back. I'm trying to aim for my and get my money back, but it's not working. Okay, okay. Let's just stop. I just lost, I got careless on deaths right there. That's two more, huh? 23, 24? My goodness. Hello. Sorry, I'm a bit of a mess at the moment. Let me freshen up and we can chat. I'm Edith Greenthumb. I suppose you can say my last name is pretty on the nose for what I do around here, at least under normal circumstances. It's nice to meet you, Edith. I wish it was under better circumstances myself. I'm Scully and this is Ember. Hello. We're seeking Elzadon, the Elder of the Aftervale. The humans grabbed him and took off. We have no idea where they've taken him, only that they came this way. Ah, yes, I know the Elder well. He has been part of the dungeons for eons. I suppose that is who I saw the human interlopers carting to the Acacia Tower. Oh, dang, the Acacia Tower. You better watch it. Oh, we gotta get all the way up there, huh? Well, that settles it then. Uh, sorry, Edith, but Ember and I must be off. Uh, we need to get the Elder back. Yeah. Actually, you two, the greenery could use your help. With what? Well, the humans are causing a lot of damage to our little slice of nature here. You see, I've just returned from trying to address the flooding that's coming from the sewers. The town of Vineland, not horribly far from here, is on the verge of becoming submerged. We could really use your help with making sure the water subsides safely out of the village. I'd really like to help you, it's just that we've let ourselves get sidetracked a few times already. I have to get the Elder back. He is a captive of these rotten flesh bags. I won't have it. I'm going to explain to you my philo uh, philosophies as a green thumb. When I want a plant to grow, I accept that uh, it can't just be willed into growing. I must first feed the seed to help, to help it sprout, then I must move it to fertile soil. I must bring water to ensure it's receiving the right amount of light and rid its plot of strangling weeds. The primary goal of growing beautiful flowers or harvesting crops cannot be accomplished. With effort, patience, and time, my fields become plentiful. What you must learn is if you are to truly be wise like your elder, it's that the resolution of a single task often requires patiently addressing many tasks that you don't yield immediately results. In doing so, your primary obstacles often become easier to overcome. This demon lady is making a pretty good point, Skulls. Look at what we did with the Rat Kingdom. After we helped them out, we were able to get past that chasm. Besides, could you really just walk away from helping these people? Hmm, I understand, but... I'll tell you what, make your way toward Vineland, and when you see what's happening, I'm confident you'll make the right choice. What do you guys think? Should we help them or not? Or should we just focus on Grandpa? Should we focus on getting Grandpa, or should we help these people? Edith promised she'd find someone to help us. Is that you? I don't know yet. I got stuff to do. So there's water all over this place here. You can see that. And they're all just like crowding in the trees. Is it true that skeletons don't decompose their food? I don't know. But I'm here for money too. What's up, dude? I'm afraid the humans might come back through here. All right, don't worry. I got you, buddy. Oh, you're kidding, yes? Nice, bone broth increases our health. Yeah, baby. All right, I'm done. Hello. 
Only gonna get worse. Gotta help out, uh, gotta get out while we still can. Those humans, they're destroying everything. All these people, their homes. It's horrible. I see you found your way to Vineland. As you can see, the flooding is becoming much worse. Edith, I'm sorry for my initial resistance. You were right. This is just an imp as important as saving the Elder. Yeah, I'm sorry that this bonehead was such a, well, a bonehead. Hey! There's no need to apologize, Scully. You're just like every other living thing in this garden. Living? And you're still growing, stretching towards new heights with each day. You grew today, that's all that matters. Now, about this flood situation, I have an idea on what to do. I believe the water can be drained into a vacant cavern that just sits beneath the village. However, my people and I were not very adventurous. None of us are fighters, and I fear we might find trouble on our way to the cavern. Would you two be willing to find the correct cavern and drain the water out of the Vineland? You can count on us. Look at, you guys see Toad? <clears throat> you guys see Toad with the, um, <laughs> with the Toad hat? A little, a little weird. What's up, Todd? All right, so we now have a task of what we need to do, and it's going to be... I did not want to travel. That was unfortunate. <clears throat> That's fine. Gives me a little breather. Now I get to hang out and read your comments. What's up, dudes? How are you? Shynotic? <clears throat> Shynotic? That Pokemon? This dude. Greetings. How's it hanging, Grogdar? How's it going, big guy? Not very well, I'm afraid. As you can probably see, my eye has gone missing. Oh no, I thought you might have just had it in your pocket or something. No, not this time, Ember. Where'd you lose it? It simply fell out of my head while walking through greenery last week. I would lose my head if I was, it was not attached to my shoulders. I can't really go looking for it either, can I? I might end up walking right off a cliff. Say, would you mind go having a, a look around greenery for me? All right, that's cool. Oh, brother. So this dude's lost his eye, and then he lost it somewhere around greenery, uh, which is kind of where Vineland is. So. If you guys see his eye, please let me know in the comments, because I don't... I don't know. Okay, here we go. I don't know where his eye is. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Yes, one way. One way to go. Okay, keep your eye out for an eye, in case the eye's around here anywhere. Wow, Robin Hood. Two arrows to the dome, dude. Get out of here. That was rude. Okay, so I can't deal with these things yet. There's little red blockades everywhere. Hey, I need help. Why is no one listening? Hey, come here. Help a ghoul out. Finally, someone who could help me. I've gotten myself into a mess this time. Listen, buddy. I know this is gonna sound strange, but I sort of have an obsession for things that explode. Okay. Yeah, it didn't treat me well in life, and it hasn't helped me much in death either. In fact, the same thing happened here as what I learned happened in my remembrance. I s sort of exploded myself, majorly. Yeah, it's a real bad situation, I know. Anyway, it caused the rest of my body to scatter around this area. I need someone to help put me back together again. Are you crazy? Why would we be playing with that stuff down here? Or why would you be playing with this stuff down here? You could hurt someone. Why do you think I am uh, all the way out here, guy? What about cavens? This dungeon ain't going anywhere. A little explosion won't change that. Besides, I don't have time to argue the virtues of my obsession. I'm in pieces right now. You gonna help a fellow dweller or not, chief? All right, we'll help you, but you better be more careful from now on. You could hurt someone. Duly noted. Listen, you won't leave empty handed. Just find my bones and drop them off here. Why is it that we find all the weirdos? There's no way your big head is going to fit through that passage. Let me get uh, the bones and I'll bring them right back. So right here is where we uh, play Flappy Bird. And then you can do a like a little dash attack in midair with Ember, which is pretty cool. So here's hoping that Flappy Bird does not die. By spikes. Death by spikes, man. Oh, gosh. Oh, you see that, though, right? We gotta bait that out. <laughs> you see that, though. Sometimes I won't see that, though! Oh, my gosh, twice! Like, you see, like, the Venus flytrap's teeth on the ground, and it just blends in. You're like, okay. Oh 
my gosh, help me. Hey, don't touch me. Yeah, I saw that ages ago. Okay, I got an arm. Okay, not dying yet. This is decent. I see Oh my come on! What? What? <laughs> Ouch! Oh my gosh. Yo, talk about jump scare? Oh my goodness gracious! I did not see that. I thought I was doing really well with analyzing the scenery. Yo, I got trashed. Dang, dude. Oh my gosh. That legit scared me. Not going to lie at all. Uh, that's a jump scare right there, dude. Dude! I That's a misclick on myself. I pressed the wrong button. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yo, wasted, wasted numbers right here for deaths. Look at this white mushroom I got. Quakey! Alright, here we go. We good? We good? White mushroom? Dude, are you kidding? Oh my gosh, really? Give me my money back. <laughs> okay, anyway. Like a surgeon, man. You just have to... You gotta go. These little guys are gonna bother me. Okay, here we go. Dude, no way! Yup! So scary. Okay, I don't even want to go down there for money. Like, it's just for money. I don't care about money right now. These guys are punks and bullies. You leave her alone. You leave Ember alone. Alright, now I just need to get out of here. Look at that guy, he's following me! Okay, okay, here we go. I think that was the last of it. How many deaths? Like, a lot? At least three or four deaths on that one? Alright, buddy, I, uh... Weiwei is the name. Weiwei. Okay, we found your bones. We? This is fantastic, I feel like myself again. I can't thank you enough for putting me back together, but I can sure try. Holy creep, your rib! Holy creep, my rib! What do you think you're do- Get this thing out of me! I told you I had something spicy waiting for you when you came back. Take it from me, friend, you're gonna love this. If you ever find yourself in need of a repeatable solution, yank that thing out and throw it at the problem. Give it a shot, quick and painless. I'm not pulling myself apart. Oh, come on, guy, trust me, you won't regret it. Woohoo, goodbye, temporary body. Okay, so I know you're probably still a little upset and all, but come on. Nope, I'll admit. That does sound pretty cool. Ah, oh, I knew you'd love it. Give it a shot when you find yourself in a bind. Thank you again, and I promise not to blow myself to bits anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, my whole body and I are going to go for a pint at the Goblin's Goblet. I like Wei Wei. That guy's the bomb. Okay, so we got Boomer Rib. Explosive bone that always returns to its thrower. The weapon gives you the most bang for your buck. Got it. So we now have a new ability, which is great. And then you can sift through your abilities with uh, L and R. Uh, give that new toy a whirl, toss the boomer rib at those blocks and watch them explode. So, yeah, there you go, just like that. So you've got this like little baby boomerang that you can kind of throw. Kind of cute, right? Ow. Oh, wow, that was interesting. Ow. Dude, what hit me? Spikes? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. You didn't see that. I can't see anything because my face is in the way. So anything in the lower left corner, I got eaten by these spikes. All for this nonsense? Oh, I didn't press that! <laughs> oh my gosh, I did though. It's all on me. Come here, I'm getting my money back. I don't care. I'm coming for it. I need that big one. Watch how risky this is. Okay, forget it. Take the big one. I don't need it. Oh my gosh. I don't care, I'm out of here. 
Ugh, okay, okay. I lost a lot of money there. <laughs> Yo, Robin Hood's here. Shredding that dude. All right. Uh, oh my gosh, low bugs. Bugs life? Get out of here, bugs life. Dude, no way. Are you kidding? I did not see that. Oh, and that too? Wow. Oh my gosh. You're kidding. Dang. And that one there. You know, I see that one. This is totally not where I need to go. Wow, though. I need that green potion, though. May I have it? No! Oh! <laughs> All for some stupid green potion I didn't need. I want my crystal, though. There you go. Thank you. Wow, wow. I'm getting real careless. All right, let's, let's play this game. Where are we at? You guys see this eyeball anywhere? Honestly, I'm looking for an eyeball. And I don't see it anywhere. Remember, we also... Like, I'm honestly thinking we're doing a really good job of... Like, exploring around. Like, there's no stone I'm leaving unturned. So where the heck is this eyeball? Ooh! Wow, this thing though, you always armored up front, so you just gotta hit him in the back. All right. Although I don't expect you guys to know where this eyeball is at. It would be pretty cool if you did though. I'm curious what happens when we give the eyeball back to the guy. Ah, dude, I knew that was gonna happen. I went greedy for it. <laughs> Oh, death. I'm taking my stuff back, dude. No, I'm not. I lost it now. Oh, I'm permanently losing these items. Ah, so funny. All right, guy, just get the, get the crystal, get the big ones, and let's get out of here. That's a Venus flytrap on the wall. I see it. Oh, every time. Yo, the game just sets you up. It's like the devs are being like super trolls right now. They're saying, oh, watch this. We're going to get this guy. By putting a mushroom right here and allowing him to bounce right back into that thing's mouth. Unbelievable. All right, all right. No more. I see how many of these Venus flytraps are here. I see them. I'm going to get it. Watch. Check this out. Yeah, you want some? Don't touch me. Yo! Oh, th great. And I run into a spike in my face. Okay, great, great, great. It's cool. It's cool. All right, anyway. These deaths, though, are really insane. I'm getting a lot of them stacked up on me today in Chapter 2. Oof! Oof! Can you not, though? Thank you. Yeah, great! Good job! Go me! Oof! <laughs> it was totally not worth it. For a lore page, man? Get out of here. I mean, if I want to collect it, I should just go pick it up. I'll go around. Yo, you guys are actually counting these deaths right now. 37's a lot. No! I got the lore sheet. That's fine. That's all that matters. <laughs> it was worth the sacrifice. You've done well. You've done well, Scully. What?! Oh my gosh, I'm not even paying attention to the surroundings anymore. There was just a spike on the top of the ceiling there. Okay, so that's a shortcut that allows me to come back. Wow, though. You know what? I'm going to take that. I earned these. I earned those two. I see that. I see that. Completely, I do. I see both of them, for starters, so I'm out of here. Ugh. Any, any word on the eyeballs, folks? Have you seen anything that resembles his little eye? I'm dead, though. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Stop dying! My money 
back. I need my money back. Thank you. Come here, Robin Hood. Oh. Oh! That's probably where it is. It's got to be right there, right? Because once you step on those... Maybe I gotta throw the boomerang at it? No? Excuse me, how in the- why in the world is that wall there that's made out of blocks that you have to stand on in order to disintegrate them? Alright, curiouser and curiouser. I'm gonna have to find out soon. Hey, check it out, Skulls! That rock seems to be acting as a giant plug. If we can remove it, then the water comes rushing out. Rushing in and we die terrible oxygenless deaths? No. You die a terrible oxygenless death. I know how to swim and I'm dead. Hmm. Looks like the same thing could break it apart. Alright. Maybe that's where I need to go. Okay, so we drained out all the water. We've saved the people. But we have yet to find where our guy is. And I need to find out what's up. Okay, never mind. Never mind. The game kind of just like... I thought there was like a secret pad and I had to like stand on them from like the left side or something like that, but apparently not. Because these little vines just kind of came to be out of nowhere. Pretty cool. Let's see what's up. The vine climb. There we go. Easy. That's four. Um, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go down. Maybe I should have gone up. I'm gonna backtrack. This is probably where the eyeball is. Okay, maybe not. No, no eyeball? How about there, on this wall? No, dude, where's the eyeball? I haven't seen anything like that. Yo, where's big boy's eyeball? Ooh, look at that, that's some money. Oh, ah, what is hitting me? You, get out of here. Robin Hood, stop pelting me with those. Oh my gosh, help me. I'm like pressing the A button to heal, but it's not working because I had boomerang equipped. No deaths today, man. Oh my gosh, we're here. Dead. 291 is amazing. Okay, we got a lot of money. And look, this is the way that we're gonna climb this tower. Yeah, you want some of this? You want some of this. Okay, easy. All right, so we seem to be in good spirits right now. We can go inside there. And we can see if we can find Gramps. The Elder. Uh, Elzadon, oh my. Boss number two. I must admit, you're both a sight for sore eye holes. Uh, now, if you wouldn't mind terribly, we have much to discuss once you've rid us of this menace. Such bravery from one who is so easily captured. Uh, while I once won an archery tournament, only using one hand. I think I'll forgo the showmanship today. You two, you are too important, Ancient One. Got past Biff, did you? Well, that is rather unsurprising. Bear's Bane was never known for much other than smashing things. I, on the other hand, am not a brute. Swift Knocks, Wit, is quick, and my aim is true. Swift Knock is the name of his bird, most likely. Deadly accurate from any distance, and a great cook to boot. Besides that, I have a friend to help me. I'll give you one chance, skeleton. Walk away, and I promise not to shoot you in the back. You can go back to whatever it is you creatures do down here. If you choose to stay, you and your friends will both be skewered by arrows. So what say you, skeleton? I say you talk too much. Oh, let's get him, bird! 
I can't even see where I'm at. Okay, I need to like chill. Okay, so he's throwing arrows upwards. I got a little bit of shelter right here. It's pretty great. Oh, right on my head. Oh, the bird. Oh, gosh. Help me. Oh, dude, whoa, hey. <laughs> if I get too close to bird. The bird attacks. Ow. Hey, hey, chill. Oh, now you're flying in the air. Okay, that's cool. Half health, new phase. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> you too. I knew you'd make it here. I have to say, I wasn't so sure, but with a little help from uh, from some other dwellers, we made it. During my time with the humans, I've learned of their true motivations here in the dungeon. They care nothing of our treasures. They do not see glory to soothe their egos. Oh, is Konami? Konami's here. What's up? Hey, hey, Konami, where's that eyeball at? That's actually Konami. Hey, thanks for letting me know. What's up, guys? <laughs> Oh, everyone say hi to Konami and make sure you guys are all subscribed to their channel. Uh, hey, uh, after very uh, after the very enchantment that makes our society possible, the magic that grants us life after death, Scully, they seek to escape back to the human world with the power of the blue flame. The eye will reveal itself. I don't know about that, Konami. I don't know about that. Relatively speaking, yes. Uh, you fought one of the humans in the blue flame shrine before this, yes? Yes, Elder. And this tower is also a shrine. I believe that you will find all the humans uh, at all of our shrines. Somehow they've received aid in finding them. Eventually, if they're not uh, stopped, they will find the most important shrine of all, deep within the crypts, at the Tome of the First Dungeon Dweller. The source of the blue flame which gives this dungeon life. Whoa. We have to stop them right now. Patience, young one. I already have a plan. I will be making my way after the... A uh, ba after... Oh my, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll be making my way back to Aftervale and rallying the citizens. In order to stop the humans, we're going to take the fight to them in the crypts. But, Scully, your ability to take on humans thus far has been immeasurable. The dungeon needs someone to lessen their effectiveness on their way to the goal. And part of their plan is to take our magic away from us fortifying their forces. As we speak, they're on their way to the shrine in the Lava Forge. Once there, they will use it to strengthen their armor, forge new weapons, and prepare equipment. Using our own resources against us. I won't have it. No, I'm super not okay with that. For now, I must depart back to Aftervale. Catch up uh, to the humans and stop them at all costs. Take care, you two, and safe travels. Okay, Ember, we can use the Aftervale Crossroads to get to the Lava Forge. I hear it's warm there this time of year. Okay, nice. Rare metal. Take it to the blacksmith for a sword upgrade. Okay, cool. So, the only way to get the eye in the game is if, if you input the Konami code. Wink, wink. <laughs> right, is that right? What's that? Like, up, down? Up, up, down, down? Left, right? Left, right? BA start? Something like that? How many of you guys know the Konami code? <laughs> yeah, I don't know where this eye is, though. I probably passed it. I don't know. Greenery. Oh, I'm going back to town, you bet. I think this takes us back to town. Okay, so we found this rare metal, and the rare metal will allow us to upgrade our sword, it looks like. And we have 388 monies, so let's go to the blacksmith, let's get our sword taken care of, and we'll go from there. I see if you found some rare metal, ready for an upgrade to that blade? Let's make it happen. Cap'n! I don't like that. Sorry. <laughs> flesh stabber. Uh, this thing is getting more deadly by the second. Yeah, let's make the flesh stabber. Uh, those flesh bags don't stand a chance. Damage on damage on damage. Cool, cool. 
buy some upgrades. We got some money. We're doing pretty well. Uh, arrow dynamic. Throw on a bone. Even without muscles, you can throw the bone really far. Upgrade. Cool. Uh, arrow dynamic. Bone will do more damage. Like a blade. Cool. I mean, I don't honestly... I don't use it that much because it uses the magic meter. So, yeah. Simply put, using the magic meter. I kind of reserve the magic meter for healing. Like, I don't want to die. <clears throat> Anywho. So here we go. Let's go to the forge. If you need to go to the forge, there's a new path available. <clears throat> it can be found west of here. So be sure to dress w for warmer weather. And we're currently at 41. You know you don't get rewarded for dying a lot, right? 41. That's not bad. Within two chapters, only 41 deaths? Hey. I don't know. I guess Konami can take a look at telemetry and see what the average is. I don't know if there is telemetry in this game, but here we go. I still haven't found that eye, remember? So we're not going back to greenery. The eye is permanently gone. I did not find it at all. Whoa, whoa, what is this guy? Hello? Uh, no thank you. Look at these little- Ooh! Wow, that just shredded me. Okay, free magic, thank you. No. Oh. Why is he gray though? No, oh, what in the actual world? Ah, oh, that's a leap of faith. Dang. That was absolutely a leap of faith. I want my money back though. <laughs> I didn't see because I was blocking the way. That's cheating. fine. Wow, wow, I'm getting destroyed here. Okay, can you just like stop flying around, you little- Oh my! You little lava bubbles. Oof! Oof, oof! Wow! Wow! Oof! Ouch! <laughs> These hurt! Oh my gosh. These hurt, man. Yeah, I don't even know. Wow, flame guy. I probably ate all those flames. Hey, flying time. We Okay, what's down there? Uh, I'll do it. That's worth it. Oh! <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. It's worth it, he says. Proceeds to lose so much unnecessary health. What's down? Uh, I can either go down or up. Hold on, let's look at this map. Uh, maybe down. Let's go down. Ow, ow, wow, ow, mama mia. Easy patterns, easy patterns, let's go. Drip, drop, drip. Who's this guy? Give me that. <laughs> Give me that, ow, ow, ouch. Wow. Alright, let's go. Let's go. You want some of this? Yeah, he just sliced me. Oh, so he's like, fool me once, shame on you. Uh. Uh. There's no way we're gonna get these things open, Skulls. Ugh, these doors are massive. They are most likely opened by some internal uh, machine apparatus. Chains and gears and all that. You basically have to be made of stone to drag these things open. Wait, that's it. What is it? Made of stone, of course. The Rockkin need to help us. You know them. Aftervale Library. I'm a bit of a dungeon history buff. Ah, uh, such an insufferable dork. 
Uh, the rock cannon, fire cannon, were here long before the forge even existed. But once it was built, they came under the employ of other dungeon dwellers due to their ability to withstand the heat and harsh environment. Despite the forge being dormant for decades now, they have continued to live here. We need to find the rock cannon and convince them to help us get into the forge. With their help, we can expel the humans. Okay, so we gotta go find the rock kin. Any of you guys know of any rock kin that we came across? Anyone? Rock kin? Forget this guy. I'm not gonna waste my magic. What? Okay. That's fine. Not, as long as I get my money back. All right, here we are. Ooh, okay, okay, here, I see this. I'm done, see ya! Okay. Mm Ow, little pellets of fire. <laughs> Give me this. No, little bubbles. Ow, oh, ow, oh, wow, that hurts so much. Ducking does nothing. Ouch. I'm dead. I am unable to heal myself. I am absolutely dead right now. I'm surviving on thin ice. Next little lava splat is the end of me. Oh my gosh, come on. I forgot this guy can throw things diagonally at me. Ouch. Man, get that guy. Oh, you're so mine. You're so mine. Yo, he's actually doing work to me. Yeah, it was so mine. What is this? Yo, flame guy. Mmm. Hmm. I right, come on. I know it. I can do it. Okay, prepare the death counter. Yeah, come on! This is so <laughs> there's got to be a reward at the end of this. Whoa, excuse me. What do I do there? Oh my goodness. Save me. There we go. Woo! Boy, that was hard. That was real hard. Give me that extra health upgrade. Woo! Totally deserving. Wow. All right, all right. Not too bad, not too bad. Get this fool. <laughs> Just hang my head in shame on that one. And leap of faith. Oh, good, good, good magic. Can you throw diagonally? Oh, you can. That's pretty great. Give me that lore. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're doing well. Come and shoot me. Not today, buddy. You, this guy, this armored guy, come here. Ah. Ow. 
Interesting. So there's two different ways to go. I'm going to take the bottom. No, I'm going to take the top route. There's two different ways and a... Okay, yeah, this is probably the way I have to go. So let's do the bottom way first. Oh, hey, dude. Oh, okay, well, hello there. Uh, have you come to watch me? Actually, we're just trying to find our way to... Because I haven't had the time for autographs at the moment. I'm gearing up to break my own record on this course. That should never be attempted. That shouldn't even be attempted. Uh, these precarious and easily crumbling footholds are no match for me. Clove, the courageous, has broken most records for his daring deeds in the dungeon. But he has been training all of his afterlife for this moment. I'm about to do something no one else in this dungeon can do. I mean, I bet he could do it. Excuse me? Ember, please, we don't have time for this. Go on then, jump your way to the end of this course. I'll tell you what, I'll even sweeten the boiling hot lava pot. You can have as many tries as you'd like, if you can make it to the end. I'll grant you a power that'll allow you to perform incredible feats of athleticism. Did you just admit to using a, a performance enhancers? No, no, of course not, I'd never. Uh, enough about me. What say you? Fine, let's do this. Good luck besting me, bony. I'll be waiting at the end of the course. Three, two, one, go! All right. I'm good at acrobatics. I can do some work. Yeah, I'm decent at acrobatics, provided. Okay. First try. Oh my gosh, first try. Get it, baby. Get it. Get it. But, but, <clears throat> how? How could you do that? All my training years of blood, sweat, and, uh, sweat, blood, and horn dust wasted. I have to admit, it wasn't easy. I chalk it up to beginner's luck uh, more than anything. Of course, that makes the most sense. Still, I must admit, you perform admirably, and a deal's a deal. Whoa. Why do I feel extra jumpy? I've granted you the third jump ability. Now you'll be able to reach heights you've never thought possible. Go on then, give it a shot. Neat. The neatest. Third jump, your ability to soar through the air is improved by leaps and bounds. Use this ability for a third boost uh, when the next platform is just out of reach. Cool. So that's pretty great. Yeah, so now we have the ability to do a third jump. But it does cost magic. Okay, that was pretty insane. Whoa, man. What did you think about that? Acrobatics? Was that good or what? I love those things. I, I wish there's more of them. I wish there was more of them in this game. I still haven't found your eyeball, dude. And I honestly don't know where it's at. I don't think I'm going to be going back to it anytime soon. Hoop dreams. Your third jump is going to feel more like a fourth jump. Those legs of yours must be getting strong. Your third jump is required less magic from now on. Okay, that's actually really good. And then my fourth jump. I got the money. Let's just spend it. There's no point in saving it. I'm going to end up losing it by dying anyway, so. Okay, so we wanted to go back to the Rockkin Mines, right? Rockkin Mines? Rockin! Rockin! It is absolutely rockin. But, but, there are at least two new secrets. Here's a hint. The mine takes you close. Uh, what does that mean? It takes you close to the eyeball from the mines? Oh my gosh, if that's the case, I'm looking in the wrong spot then. We were looking all around greenery for the stupid eye. But here's hoping that we can find it. Okay, so there's two different areas to go to. We did the, the little expert course. We did the expert course. And then now we need to go to the top. Oh, this dude. What are you doing here? Look at these two statues. Okay, what's up, Rock Ken? Hey, there's a rock dude. What's up, fire guy? State your intentions. I'm Scully, and this is Ember, and we're on a haphazard and ill-advised quest to take down the human invaders. I am Sheer, chiefess of the Rockkin. Can you speak a little more quickly, please? We don't have a lot of time here. You think I speak slow? My people think I speak entirely too fast. Too fast? Ever since the humans invaded and activated the forge, 
Holy creeps, Skulls, the humans are already using the forge. The temperature had risen to unheard of heights. This has emboldened the firekin, and they're leaving their natural habitat to interfere with ours. Both you and the firekin were born of this landscape. Both formed the, ex uh, the same extreme conditions before the forges were even active. No other race could possibly thrive in this environment. So why has it become so hostile between you two? Why can't you find a way to coexist? They invade our long-standing space. We will not be in prison any longer. Grr. Stop it. The rockkin are not the enemy. The firekin are not the enemy. The humans are the enemy. I might have a plan that can help the both of you. Explain? If I can get inside the forge, I can shut it off. I can defeat the humans. But I can't open the doors alone. I'm coming to realize that Ember and I cannot defeat the humans alone. I believe that with your help, I can get the doors open. You want our help? Very well. But what are the firekin? That has to be some sort of compromise. Uh, a way in which they can have more freedom without infringing upon the rockkin. Stop in the name of Gub, hard lady and spicy float. Gub Gub! What are you doing down here? Gub Gub gets bored. Usually Gub Gub plays with his kitty or tickles himself until he coughs when he gets bored. This time Gub Gub decided to look for bonesmen and flap around. But Gub Gub hears slow rock and hot jerk being picky and silly, and Gub Gub doesn't like it. This naked boy and his goth baseball are friends of the whole underground. <laughs> naked boy and goth baseball. All right, I think I've heard everything now. But these two saved the old man with the walkity stick. Uh, they made the green place happy again. They made the rats and their mousy houses happy again. And they're doing their bestest to get rid of squishy boys that invaded our world. Not your world, our world. So all the talking boulders and flamersons should help them. Visitors are right. We must find a compromise. We're willing to compromise. What do you suggest? What if we come up with some sort of schedule? The forge need not lay dormant constantly. What if Rockkin agreed to turn it on every so often for a certain amount of time? Yeah, maybe if the firekin were not always cooped up, then we would not be so destructive when would they do get out. Hmm, that sounds reasonable. What say you, Cinder? As long as we're no longer prisoners, we'll agree to peace. Truce. Truce. Gub Gub, you made them listen. You are amazing. Gub Gub never been called amazing before. Gub Gub loves Scully and Imber and all his new friends. Wait, you know our names? Yeah, Gub Gub like making up funny names for everyone is all. Enough chit chat. We'll unlock the entrance to the forge. We'll help. The fire can have been locked up too long to miss out on the fun. Let's rock and roll. All right, dudes. Give me this eyeball. Oh, yo, what's up, dude? I don't have money. I just spent it all. No. Okay, okay. Remind me when I get 160 currency, I need to go back to the uh, the little wherever this is, the lava forge little town, and I need to go buy 160 bucks worth of that potion. Is that 160 worth? No. Alright. Okay, so we gotta make our way all the way over to the lava forge. Yeah, that should be pretty easy. It's pretty- ouch. <laughs> it's pretty linear, I was just about to say. Shred these guys. 160 though? Come on though. Do I need to go up or down? I do- I don't need to go up. I need to go down. But I don't want to die though. Probably death down there. Okay. I don't want to eat that. Stop! Oh my gosh, little embers. Uh, oof. Okay. Longevity has increased. We're fine. We can do work. We gotta run through this spot. Okay. Dude, I double jumped, but that's fine. Maybe I should put it on triple. all my money down there oh <laughs> 64 just a hundred more oh look at these guys holding it up looks like the forge is open now let's go all right let's okay so here we are in the forge might as well it's free okay so here we are in the forge ow Whoa, ow. 
Okay, there is a switch that we need to hit somewhere. I don't think I want to touch the middle of the lava pool. I was just saying that. I'm like, I don't want to touch the middle of this lava pool. That seems to be... Oh, get this guy. Ow, ow, two out of three of his hits? Dead! Oh my gosh, I'm still alive. Wait, what? Where do I have to go? <laughs> Check this out. Shortcut. Yeah, what you know about it. Thanks to triple jump. Okay, so we did the shortcut. I'm going to heal myself up a little bit. I'm gonna go get my magic back. And then let's see if I can shortcut through here. There we go. Beautifully done, beautifully done. Speed run strats, yeah? How, how did that go downwards? Okay, okay, no thanks. Wow, that hurt a lot. Oh, bat time, yeah, let's go bat time. Oh, don't shoot me. Okay. Ooh, you can't see me. Ouch, wow, the marksman. Okay, I can't go that way. And that is a, a saw blade that is probably going to shave my life down. Don't do it! What is your problem? What did I do to you? Oof. Oh! 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 Okay, good. Good. Take me back, guy. Ow. That guy's so annoying. I'm wondering who, like, all the humans are modeled after. Right, you ever think about that? Like, if you ask the dev team, they're like, oh man, that's just Frank, he, he works on all the art assets. Uh, we just modeled that enemy to look exactly like him. <laughs> what if? Oh my gosh, this like... This little um, belt here is totally trying to bring me right into those spikes. Not gonna let it happen though. Okay, need a key, don't have a key, let's go find a key. Still haven't found this eyeball. It's kind of bothering me. Alright, how do I get up here? Where's the reprieve? Oh, okay. Is there not any reprieve in between these? Okay, there is here. I'm gonna eat one, man. I'm gonna feel it, like... Dead! Right there! Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm like, where is the where is the space where I'm gonna get through here? Okay, just like that. Uh, let me get my triple jump up. Beautiful. Okay. Don't touch me. I should be going this way, but this is oh sweet. That's some money right there. One two three easy patterns. Oh, oh come on. That's all my money over there. I need hundred and sixty. I don't think I want to risk getting it though All right, whatever whatever whatever. I don't need it. It's not worth going back Or is it? I'm so greedy Okay, let's not Okay, I'm not going to Yeah I'm not. I'm not gonna go try to get that. I've lost it. It's done. It's in the books. I'm going to get out of here. Now that I have the key, I'm all set and ready to go. Okay, key time. 
It does one, two, that's the pattern. This guy. Okay, what's the pattern here? One. That's oh, just one. Okay, that's fine. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's reminding me of like battle toads right here. <laughs> oh, where is the eyeball? We'll never find the eyeball, dude. Oh my. Can you not? I'm gonna eat every single one of those flames. Just yummy. Oh, there's a little platform there. Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah, just right in my eye. Thanks. Oh man, it's raining! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Is it worth it? Oh my goodness! Wow, I thought I'd be able to charge up and just dip right through. I don't know of another way of dodging that. Did, did I get what I came for? What am I supposed to be doing? Like healing myself in between that? How many deaths are we at? My goodness. What's the intention? What's the intended way of doing that part? Maybe chilling out and going backwards like this? Oh, yeah, that's probably it. Well, I can't wall jump on the side of those things, so I'm probably gonna have to go uh, against the grain in order to get that. Okay. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. We're figuring it out, we're figuring it out. Dude, I didn't touch that, but I did though. Okay. Mm Where's my third jump? I need it. There we go. Okay, so I just went the underway, and if I really wanted to, I could have just gone up here and then gotten it that way. Okay, interesting. I need 160. Tunnel newly finished. Don't really need it. Thank you, though. Here's some good healing. Thank you. And we are all set. Gonna equip triple jump. I'm gonna break through this. And let's move on. There's no one here. Perhaps the humans have already made their way through. I don't know, Skulls. Something doesn't seem right. What the? Gah! My colleagues before me thought it was wise to bring primitive weapons to an undead creature fight. I assure you that I, Abra the Dapper, bring the true power, an amazing sense of magical fashion, and awe-inspiring flair of showmanship. My knowledge of the unnatural and extraordinary coupled with my class bonus. I'm sure my victory against you and your familiar. Time to make someone disappear, corpse boy. Won't you be my volunteer? Yeah, let's see how this works. Oh, books? Oh, watch out, watch out, he's got books. Every gamer's worst nightmare, books. Oh! oh that's interesting. Ooh, wow, okay, I think I survived that. Low-hanging fruit right over here. Yeah, sorry buddy, failure again, I'm sorry my king. Did you just call me your king? Not you, you skeletal dolt, my king who lies sick on his deathbed, waiting for us to return with the blue flame. Good ghoul, Skulls. That's why they want the blue flame? You mean that you would destroy our entire way of life to save the life of a single man? He is no normal man. His rule has been the most peaceful, bountiful time in the history of the kingdom. 
I did all that I could to save him. Potions, spells, enchantments, nothing worked. I'm an arcane genius of the highest sort, but I've never seen magic like that which grants you beasts life. You would kill everyone in the dungeons, but call us the beasts? You disgust me. To my king, to my commander, I'm sorry. I did not... I did my best to fulfill the prince's quest. Now my flame will be extinguished in kind. Wow. Oh my jumping jabberwocky. We beat a mage. Woohoo. Okay, the bone sword has the ability to reflect projectiles. Nice. Shing, shing. All right, pretty cool. Where's the eyeball though? <laughs> yeah, that's great and all, but I still haven't found the kid's eye. So we have to look for that. Okay, now how do we turn this thing off? Any chance it's just a big switch over labeled Forge Master Controls? All right, I'd say there's a 100% chance, Bat. Good eyes. Nothing. Eyeball, floating in the air. Still don't know. So there's a side quest. There's a side quest for this gigantic Cyclops guy, the Cyclops skeleton that says, I lost my eyeball. Can you please help me find it? We did it, Ember. We brokered the peace, shut down the forge, and stopped the humans from creating more weapons. This warrior stuff isn't half bad. Huh, yeah. Knocked them clear into oblivion. That wizard looks so hopeless. As usual, I couldn't have done it without your help, Ember. Scully? Ember, what? Hold on, hold on. Wait a second. You mean to tell me that Ember just got taken by the cloaked person? Yes, yes. Hey, how about, don't spoil the eyeball, but just give me a hint about the eyeball. Like, you can make it as cryptic as possible, and I could say, oh, that's what you mean. I need to find that eyeball, though. Oh, ah, creep. Yes, just how I like my loyal heroes. Completely predictable. Though you'll be sharing fates, you will not be seeing your little friend anytime soon. Guards, take him away. It's in a large green area, newly without water, uh, near a tunnel entrance. Okay, I, I, can, I can pick up where that is. I have to find Ember, hello? Merely met my bony friend. God, mage, what are you doing here? I'm here to save your bony butt, that's what. Because it seems that neither you nor your winged friend can survive without your old friend the mage. Bah, we're having fun, you're doing fine, but I'd like to help. However, I'll be speaking to you only in sort of riddles. Why? Because it's much more interesting. Nothing that comes easy is truly rewarding, trust me, you'll love it. Now let's get you going. Your flighty friend awaits. How can I go anywhere? I'm stuck in this blasted cell. I didn't open that yet? No. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Well, oh well. Hold on, hold onto your posterior bone a second. Jeez, the impatience of some people. Can we go now? We're coming, Ember. All right, so now we're uh, jailed. We're jailed out here. Oh man, okay, and these guys like throw little darts at you. And as soon as they hit you with the darts, the darts are like sedatives, apparently, and then you just go back to your cell. But I've got the ability to reflect those shots at them, so we should be okay. And I don't have the ability to heal Because Ember is the one that heals, so I only have my one health bar. Great. This is like stealth mission, but you know me in stealth games. Metal Gear Solid much? 
I'm like two seconds away from dying, so let's just see how far I can get without that happening. Oh, dude, he just sliced me coming up! As long as I don't get, like, sedated, I should be okay. Oh, right back at him. Yeah, dude. I faced that guy. I'm like, come at me, bro. You want some of this? Oh, man. Knocked him out. Yo, I faced him. Okay, so eliminating spotlights. Picked up a little piece of lore. I think we should be good. 211 allows me to go purchase to backtrack a little bit more. It allows me to backtrack a little bit more to where we have to um, go like to little magma area. You want some? Who wants some? Well, I gotta find my bat friend. I'm not going anywhere without her. Yeah, that was not where I wanted to go. This doesn't seem to be the place. This map is all sorts of wacky wobbly. All right, well, we'll explore it. I'm gonna do the overground first, like the above ground area. Ouch. Oh, dang, I did not see that. I got shot, I got sedated. They put me in a different cell, though. Two. That's a poison arrow I just ate. Half health gone. Straight from the beginning. Mamma mia. Absolutely no health right now. That hurt! Man, these arrows are so hurtful. Ooh, hoo, 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 dead! Oh my gosh, as long as I didn't get uh, sedated, I'll come back. Not having the ability to heal is rough stuff. Don't touch me. Ooh, ooh. Poison arrow is dragging my health down. Dead! What are you guys doing here? No! Wait, wait, hold on. Bone broth. That should give me full health, yeah? Thanks. And it despawned all the arrows that were coming at me. Sweet! Yo, talk about milk and that. Take it back. These guys don't give me any money, though. So we got some bone broth, which is great. Ow. Thanks for nothing. Oof! Right in my head. <laughs> Hell! Alright, I'm out. I'm out. That's cool. That's not the tower we need to go to. Now pay attention, youngin, because this part might get a little frantic. Uh -huh. As you bring our dear dungeon out of darkness, so too will other things come to light. Ah, creep. Be more careful when you come into view. Ah, well, I'm trying to help. Way to burst my magic bubble. You think I'm afraid of these dudes? I'm not, though. Oh, except for when that happens. When he got me an angle that my sword swipe doesn't cover. Dang, dude. What? Aw, oh, man. That's fine. Uh-huh, uh-huh, 274, man. All right, we got to get our friend. 274. Oh, ouch, my gosh, every time. <laughs> all right, all right, that's fine. Let these guys come out, that's fine. Just flick them upwards. <laughs> no, don't touch me, oh my gosh. Scary, scary, scary. I mean, I could hide behind the boxes and play Metal Gear Solid all day, but I don't care for that. I'm more of the run and gun variety, can you tell? There's two doors. All right, I'll go this door. Oh, I'm gonna try going up top. Cool, chandeliers. Interesting. What's up, dude? You took long enough. Maybe if you would stay uh, you would stay with me instead of going ahead. 
Teehee, okay, listen. Uh, you're gonna have a fight your way through this next bit. I want you to be brave, confident, sure. You're not coming with me? I'll see you again, but this is your journey, Scully. How are you supposed to learn if I'm doing it all for you? Besides, you've done a royal job so far, if I do say, my, say so myself. Don't you think that magic could help expedite this whole thing? I feel like a location spell to find Ember would be a much better option. Who says I know how to cast a location spell? Do you know, uh, do you know one? Can you teach me? No, I can't teach you, sorry. Oh, who are you? Hi. Nice to meet you. Look at this. It's fine, whatever. I'll just auto heal. Thanks to my little slime over here, thank you. Okay, so this is broken up into a couple different spots. I'm gonna do top left first. Interesting, interesting. Okay, check this out. It's cool. Hit me all you want, buddy, it doesn't matter. Check this out. Okay, so I can't free these skeletons. Yikes. Oh, sweet! Just money? Uh, okay, and uh, I'm not gonna jump down, but we're gonna call it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Good source of money. I got a 359, like I gotta go get that extra bone broth, and I gotta go find that eyeball. Maybe at the end of this chapter we'll go. So I say to him, Reggie, the bloke's already dead. You can stop poking at him. Don't blame him one bit. Can't trust these walking nightmares to stay dead after all. I, the sooner we're out of here, the better. You can say that again. I'd watch it if I were you, you unnatural winged freak. Just because we can't kill you, doesn't mean we won't break uh, of those wings right off and crisp it up for supper. What's up, Brian? We'll be playing that uh, next week, don't worry. If not this weekend. Speaking of which, yeah, I ain't eaten in hours. Let's head back to the campgrounds and grab something. Can't go nowhere, captain's orders. They don't know what this little fangy nuisance did, but they's got, a, they's got us keeping a special eye on her. She'll be fine, the little bat is in her birdcage. Besides, everyone is on the lookout for that little bony brat. Let's go. Food. All right, cool, let me break the heck out of here. To whatever mischievous goddess made those guards as stupid as a freshly awakened corpse. Thank you. Okay, time to get out of here. Don't worry, Skulls. I'm gonna find you and save your kin, relatively speaking. You needn't worry about Bony Boy, you clever lady. He's already escaped his prison. With my help, of course, because magic. As we speak, he's trying to come find you. But he's found some trouble because of, uh, of course, of course he has. You hear those escape bells? That's what impatience gets, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Which way do I go? Follow me, let's get your bo best bones back. All right, this is pretty cool. So now I get to play uh, flying around. Yeah, you want some of this? Come here. Get drilled. Oh gosh, oh traps? Okay, I'm like, what is what is eating me? What is eating me? It's obviously traps. Okay, okay. So let's do this. And let me get my stuff back. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, 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 check that out. A jail cell. Ooh, with some magic potion. I can heal myself, which is great, because I have the magic healing ability. Oh, get shot! Ouch. Almost twice. What is actually happening down here? Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh my gosh, help me. Woo! So scary. But I can heal, so I'm good. All right, switch modes. Now I'm out here. Wait, where do I, ouch, what the heck? Where do I have to go? What's this? I go out here to try to get this stuff. How about I just do this? Doing, doing. <laughs> just dipping in, dipping out, man. Hello. Ouch, my head. All right, whoa, check out this. Oh, oh, what is this? Looks like we need to find a key. All right, I will find said key. Dude, chill. All you, stop firing those at me. I pressed it. 
Okay, okay. Can I can I go? I got magic back, but I don't I can't have I can't heal, so let's just see what's up. Oh the rat. Uh oh. Don't go in there, rat. It's a bad time. What do they call those in like the medieval times? Those like um those coffins with the spikes in them? Your feisty friend, the skeleton, known as Scully. I've dug around in the threads of time, loosening the bits I could, as I couldn't help but wonder whose hands the fate of my precious dungeon had fallen into. Some juice on the skulls. Now this I gotta hear. An Iron Maiden. Yeah, you guys are right. Thank you. Is he a secret dancer or something? Oh, I wish. But I like the way you think. No, it turns out your skinless kinsman was once a human warrior. Yeah, we already knew that. The Elder told us, sort of. Oh, uh, really? That was supposed to be a really cool reveal, darn. Uh, but still, it gets even better than that. What are you on about? I was flexing my next level omnipresent skills and learned that Scully's journey involves implications for both those above and below. If the humans leave the dungeon with the blue flame, not only will all dwellers everywhere be royally doomed, the humans will end up extinguishing the flame of one of their own. What, what do you mean? Oh, look who's not so, yeah, whatever, when they hear something they don't know. Tell me what you mean. Yikes, I don't mean to do this, really, but I've been helping the both of you this whole time, and my powers are fading, so I can't. I must away, but you'll meet your friend shortly. Don't let the suspense burn a hole in your brain. Too late. Dang, what do you guys think? What do you think is going on? So, like, Scully has to somehow help the humans and... The skeletons? Nice. Oh, dang, I didn't know that the little dash attack can repel those things. That's kind of cool. Oh, gosh, help me. Uh-huh. Thank you. Oh, so we're doing this again. Great. <laughs> right into the Iron Maiden, and I'm out. See ya, without taking a single bit of damage. We're just taking that money right now. Okay, this place... I don't know where I'm at on the map. But, ooh, look at that. Sweet, got some lore, excellent. Didn't even see me coming. Okay, I saw that too late. <laughs> What's the point of these little rooms? Just for like two little pieces of crystal? That's interesting. So this is the bottom section. Oh man, hurts. Help! If I can find a key, I'll come back and save you. Oh, who's that? If I can find a key, I'll come back and save you. All right, looking at the map, I know exactly where I gotta go. Ouch, right over here. I don't have any health, but we're moving this way. Did you guys see that bat? Uh-huh, not going that way, sorry. We're going this way. I'm dead. Oh yeah, hold on, hold on. I can heal. Wait, how do we share the same health bar? <laughs> That's a little weird if you think about it. Like, if Skulls is dead, maybe they're just, like, connected. Oh, there you are! Oh, look at how precious this is. Look at it's time to hug. My little friend. My bat! I knew you'd get out. What took you so long to catch up to me? I figured I'd give you some time to try and find me, shake things up a little. Scully, the mage, I know, super strange and fairly nonsensical, if you ask me. It's more than that. I think we're in for some afterlife changing news at some point. Let's chat about it later. Right now, we should be looking for the flesh sack that kidnapped you. Fair enough. Time to scoot. My ears are burning. Were you two praising my magical name for helping you find one another? Your name? We don't even know your name. We just call you the mage. Plus, you barely helped. You almost got me caught. 
It was a character building exercise, young Scullington. That's what mentors are for. I was gonna tell you, too, where to go next in order to stop the humans, but if you don't want my help... Yes, please. Very well. When you are done fighting whatever fleshy, fearsome foe awaits you in the shrine, use the old elevator for a quick escape. It'll save you from having the double back. Oh, and you may want this to help uh, you get the embalming, get to the embalming room. Oh, wow. That was actually helpful. Wait, you're magical. Couldn't you just teleport us to the shrine and out again? Easy equals not rewarding. We've been over this. Okay, you found a key. Who knows what secrets it will unlock here in the prison. All right. So we've got ourselves a key. Uh, we can get that weird bat out of that cell. It says, uh, like, as soon as I found a key, I can get you out of here. And then there were some rooms that uh, I couldn't I couldn't deal with. Oh, looky, another couple of plebs here to see the great uber bat. Okay, cool. Anyway, we're just going to head back. Bye-bye. You dared to doubt me, the mighty uber bat? Mistress of the night, I'm graced by your... Whoa, you're the uber bat? Didn't know uber was so literal. But, but your fur is supposed to be golden in color. Able to leap tall stalagmites in a single bound. A goddess among bats. Yeah, well, don't meet your idols, I guess. Anyway, I'm exactly as majestic as they say I am. This is just winter weight. I'm sorry, mistress. Of course it is. It's an honor to meet you. Okay, well, please calm down, because this is weird, but also back at you. Get her out of this cell. Okay, geez, let's figure this out first. Not necessary. I've already figured it out. I'm locked in here with an enchanted lock. They took extra care to make sure I couldn't get out. But from the gossip around here, it sounds like you two might have some extraordinary powers at your disposal. Okay, your badness, let's see what we can do to get you out of here. Ah, you've done a, you've done me a service, you two. When we meet again, we'll have something special for you. Until then, run along. I don't want you seeing, I don't want you seeing me doing push-ups. Her wings won't even reach the ground. I will literally take your head off and fly away with it. I'm just saying. All right, cool. Uh-huh, great. Uh, find me in the crypt and I'll reward you. Okay, that's cool. Thank you. Holy moly, I just got shredded. Okay. Find me in the crypt and I'll reward you. So we got to find her... Oh, again in the crypt. What's this? Ow. <laughs> so what do you think of the uber bat? Cool, yeah? Rusty chains. Oh, come, ye creatures of unnatural life, for I have a song to sing. Brandish your blade and puff out your chest, your true death still we shall bring. While we're sure that the human you started pursuing uh, was whom you were hoping to find, tis Elaine and I who will make sure that you die, after which I will sing and drink wine. Yikes! That last part was pretty weak, friend. Uh, we've come from... Uh, I beg your pardon? Yeah, man, after which, what are you, writing kid songs over here? Also, you talked about true death in the first part. And then you tell us we're going to die again? Sorry, but that's solidly weak. True enough, that song was fairly weak. Hey, sorry, Tally, it's true. But the right notes from that man's throat will do you a great harm. Right along with my steel, wielded by the will of the gods. Now feel the sting of divine retribution on holy devils. A bard? And a paladin? This should be quick. Alright. Ow, oh, what are you doing? Ew, whoa, okay. Uh, Alright, let's do some work. So he's just pushing us around with his, like, music notes or whatever. And I gotta go around you. That kinda helped, thanks, buddy. Ow, 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 hold on, let's heal. Yeah, jump over. Yeah, you just jump over and over. Wow. And then this guy, what do you do? Oh, you got daggers of sorts? Excuse me. Oh, I thought I can reflect those. Ow, they actually have a hitbox on the ground. 
Yeah, done, dude. Yo, we shredded him. Honestly, don't know what chance they thought they had. I know, right? A bard and a paladin? Ha! Huh. Come on, let's get out of here and head towards the crypt. Nice. Whoa, your critical hit count is going up. Hey, that's a pretty cool ability. But there was some other stuff that I didn't do over here, so... Let's heal up and see. Uh, what room am I in? Uh, this room was... Yeah, there was two rooms that I wanted to go take a look at with this key. So what did you think of the, uh, the end chapter boss right over there? Pretty cool, right? The Bard and the Paladin, pretty interesting of a concept where both of them are just kind of out there. The other dude is just um, shifting around. There we go, Bone Broth, that's what I'm looking for. There we go, and what else is here? That's one room, I think there's another room I can go in. Was it this room? No, I think I went in this room. Yeah, I think it's time to go now. Bard and the Paladin. Hi, Rocco. Ouch. <laughs> Hi, Rocco. Did you guys hear him yell? What was with that? Why did he, Why does Rocco yell like that? Just announce. Just announce that he's here. Tell everyone I said hi, he says. But you can't afford my rate, so he's not coming on screen. Okay. Uh, here was the elevator down that they did mention. Nothing hidden. Okay, good. Let's go. Or elevator up. I guess we're going to the crypt still. I don't think we've uh, finished off this chapter. And plus, we gotta go find the uber bat in the crypt to get rewarded. This looks like a crypt for sure. Oh, sweet. Give me that. Whoa, floating jars, watch out! I think I need to care about floating jars. Oh, dang, look who it is. Greetings, Scully and Ember. Your journeys have brought you full circle. From the crypt as a newly dead warrior to the dungeons as a dweller and back again as a warrior, the full circle of life and death are one and the same. Ugh. I could really do without the dramatics right now. Our lives and unlives are like threads constantly weaving together. Okay, honestly, I can't do this right now. We don't have time. I promise if we stop the humans, then I will come back and we can properly discuss the endless cycles of life and death. But okay, it's really boring here because everyone's dead. Can't you stay for a game of backgammon at least? Ember, you ready to make more dungeon dwellers? If I had knuckles to crack, I would. Let's do this, Skulls. Be careful, the humans have been destroying tombs and disturbing the ghosts. Strike the lanterns and candles with your sword and they'll come to life. The light will disable the ghosts and protect you from their attacks. The light reveals hidden objects as well. Thanks, Shep. No problem, you two. Remember, you'll be safe in the light. Okay. Interesting. Shep is his name. <laughs> Shep? The heck? No one's named Shep. Uh, the platforms, here we go. Yeah, so you hit the light and then the platforms reveal themselves. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get that really quick. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Interesting, I can triple jump that. <laughs> I love that I could just bypass the intended way of getting to it simply by equipping triple jump. Ow, dude. Wait, what is actually happening? Stop. Oh, I see, I see. What? Okay, whatever, I don't need it. I got 488. I think I'm good for upgrades for a little bit. Wait, hold on, there's there's many ways of going. Okay, yeah, check this out. Let's go this way. If it isn't the Uber Pat. Hello. I was wondering if I'd end up seeing you two around here at some point. Hello, mistress. Hey there, kiddo. Pleased to see you again, mistress. Oh yeah, I'm surprised, seeing as a sight of me. Seems to make you very concerned about my weight. I knew she had heard what you were saying. Apologize. Huh, <laughs> sorry. 
Meh, I could probably stand to lose a few ounces. Think nothing of it. Now, I told you if I ever saw you again, I'd have a little special something to give you for helping me get out of that stupid cell. So here you go. Whoa, Uber Sonar. Yep, that's the one. You help me, the Uber Bat, get out of the stickiest of wickets. In my eyes, that makes you the Uberest Bat of all. This is the best day of my life. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Hmm. <laughs> You've done us a great honor, mistress. Thank you so much. Right back at you, bony. I know you two got somewhere to be, so don't feel weird about having to kick rocks. Go get those lousy flesh bags, and you, scratch their eyes out for me. Okay, putting up with Ember for years is finally about to pay off. Have her use a sonar ability to reveal hidden items and points of interest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and? Look at all this food we got. Like, steaks? Bread? Sonar, huh? I mean, it kind of... Oh, you can kind of see where the stuff is. Oh, that's kind of cool. In case you're not wanting to hit any of these lights, you just sonar and then it kind of shows where it's at. Wow, I just destroyed a child. And look at these guys trying to push me into the... Uh, trying to push me inside of the, uh, the spikes there. Whoa, hey no. destroyed a child, a small innocent boy. Before he can even strum his harp, turned him into another uh, dungeon dweller, man. Okay, missing a key here. Okay, there's obviously, oh, sonar would be really good right here. Or not. Sonar is actually kind of lame. Sorry, I don't think that sonar is good. Oh, except for when that happens. <laughs> oh, I haven't died in quite a little bit, huh? All right, let's see what happens. Oh my gosh, can I just jump on here? I mean, maybe if sonar was free, that'd be pretty cool, but I don't know. It goes to be, like, one of the most underused things right now. At least I don't feel yet. We'll see, though. We'll see. Maybe it might come in handy. Okay, Death Swings. Great. Yo! Whoa. Nice. Okay, we're here. Ah, uh, it couldn't be that easy. So this is where sonar would help a lot. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Dude, what what hit me? What was there, a mushroom? How did I jump? Are you kidding me? I didn't touch that. <laughs> was there something like hidden over there? I don't know, like hidden mushrooms probably. That's why I was able to bounce. It's terrible. Okay, so we got the key, we can backtrack now, which is good. I was curious, I'm like, what in the world hit me? I didn't press the jump button. Whatever. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, okay, I need to not die right here. Because I'm just trying to make my way back. Okay, we're doing well. We're doing well. I haven't died that much recently. Key in. <sighs> Got the key. Yeah, okay. So this next spot is going to show that we can go back. We can backtrack now. Yes. Okay, good, good, good. Give me your bone broth for a 250? Yo, that's highway robbery, man. I'll take it, though. And I'm also going to take this, because we're going to go back. I'm going to go back home. I'm going to maybe improve upon something? I don't know. We got some money.
Here's the guy with the eyeball. I don't know if we want to improve anything. Let's take a look. Sonar, go, sonar. <laughs> You'll use an ability while spending less magical energy. And then max dis distance increased. I need 160. So we're gonna do this one, max distance increased. And then we're gonna hold on to the rest of our money so that we go get the, um, the caves. Remember, we gotta go to the caves and then we gotta go to the greenery area to go get the dude's eyeball so we can stop talking about it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go over to the um, forge control room. I think that's where I can quickly go and find that extra health. Because we wanna be able to ma make sure that we have the max health possible. And I don't want to uh, go into the game with like even more deaths, right? We had a lot of deaths so far. Do you guys remember where we're at? Okay, so this is the Lava Forge. Oh, this is not where I want to go. But there is an empty spot over there that I have not explored, apparently. Rockkin Mines. Yeah, we will absolutely go get this eyeball. I'm gonna start with the thing that I know where it is first, which is all the way up here. So let's speed run all the way up here as best we can. Get some more money while we're at it. Oh dang, walked right through that guy. This, 160, right? Good. I bought just enough, this is beautiful. Now we have a big old health bar. Uh, now I can go back to the mines, and then we're gonna go try to find this eyeball, okay? We got a hint that it's in the greenery area where the water no longer is around. Which, I think, if I would've had a little bit more patience, I probably would've figured that out. <laughs> okay, let's go to Vineland. Alright, here we go. Eyeball time! Where, oh, where could the eyeball be? All right, so here we go. This is the new town. Hello, hi. Do, have you seen an eyeball? So this is the town that was submerged. Oh, this better not be the eyeball. Oh, good, I was gonna say. That would've been so bad. Mm -hmm. Hey, dude. Oh, dude, I didn't even know you were here. 150, I need money. Oh, I gotta go back now. Okay, dang, I should not have bought my stuff. All right, let's find an eyeball. You know where an eyeball is? Yo, tell me about your eyeball. Okay, so this place was flooded before. Mm hmm, hmm. I can't enter those. I can't enter the, this is like a fat luma. Eyeball in the greenery. That's the mine. This is another way out with Shinotic. Is there an eyeball in this like little store? Uh huh. Nothing. Nothing. Floods were the worst. Okay, great. I don't. Oh, oh, oh! I saw that. Did you see that too? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I just randomly saw that in the corner of my eyeball. <laughs> See what I did there? That has to be it. Hold on, what if it's not though? Dang it! <laughs> Giant squishy eye, weird. All right, I found the dude's eyeball. Now let's get out of here. Okay, so we found the eyeballer sin. All right, eyeball hype in the chat. I guess now we get to find out what happens when we give him back his eyeball. Because we like him, he's, he's a cool dude. He's a cool NPC. Eyeball, you just gotta look around. And see like, the, the looking around is rewarded. That's cool, you found my eye. You guys have no idea how much this means to me. Here, take this bone broth. Bone broth! Alright, that's fine. Whatever. It's cool. 
I'm surprised this old lady doesn't give us any bone broth. Alright, well that's fine. Okay, so we're good. Let's move on to where we were going before. We were in the lower crypt before, right? I honestly don't remember where we were at. Lower crypt seems like where we were. So, I still need to go back to greenery once I get like 150 um, currency. Then we should be able to get one more bone broth. All right, here we are, this guy. Beautiful, let's go. Why am I flying? Okay. Cool. Oh! <laughs> 150? Am I? No, no. Like, that was just for that money? What are we doing over here? Wow, I got smashed, guys. Come at me. Ow. Okay, so we just have to beat that thing. Wow, look at that big, big HP. Is this 150 yet? Watch it be. One oh six. Oh great. Yo, leaps of faith. I'll put my triple jump on. Just in case. Alright, leaps of faith. Ooh, I want that so bad, but I don't want to risk it. I'm okay without it. Knowing me, I'd probably die trying to get it. There's a key right there. We'll take that. Dealing with these ghosts is good. I get a lot of, um... oh, and they explode once they die? That's rude. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yep. Oh my, he almost did it. This little child almost committed murder. Oh, dang, look at that sheet right there, that sheet music, or um, the lore. I gotta maybe backtrack for it. Or maybe not, because I'm just right here and I'll get it. That little bard kid really almost rocked me. That ghost is kind of annoying me. Whoa! Oh, almost shredded. Shredded beef. triple jump. Thank you. Don't do it! I knew it! I knew it! Oh my gosh. I knew I was gonna die right there. Alright, there's another death toll. Here's another one too. Ugh. It's this little ghost that's just bothering me. Two quick unnecessary deaths. Three. That's actually really hard to do right there for some reason. Why though? Okay, I just need to do that. Ugh, get the key, man. I kind of want my money though. Okay, fine, forget it. Okay, where do I, oh, where do I go with the key? All right, so there's a spot all the way up top Maybe it's locked, so let's take a look. Here we go. Okay, we're in. Easy peasy. We good here? Thank you. Huh. Maybe it's time for a little bit of sonar. 
It doesn't like reveal it permanently though, so that's kind of interesting. Oh, look at this small child! He almost did it! He's he's doing it. He's absolutely doing it right now. Hit you from underneath, guy. You like that? Didn't didn't like that. Curl up in a ball and cry. Whoo! That little kid almost did it. Man, I don't think I, I've lost to a bard yet, so thank goodness. Okay, here we go. Oh, we're gonna play a little... A little maze game with the lights now. Alright, alright, let's go, let's go. Cool. I'll take that bone broth all day. Give me that big health upgrade. Okay, I need to turn the lights on. Okay, can't squeeze through that, but I can do this, this. One ninety three, excellent. What's up, dude? I got one ninety three. I'm out. Let's go to the. Uh, let's go back to the greenery. Vineland. I got the money to pay for that bone broth upgrade. You yeah, were going all in. This is great. Oh man. Whew. It kind of feels like we're at the end of the game, though, right? How many bosses have we battled? Can you guys name all the bosses? First one to name all the bosses gets a shout out. I can't even name all the bosses, to be honest. I could say there's that girl, that one guy, the big dude, that person. The guy with the sword, yeah, yeah, the guy with the sword, yeah, remember him. Some guy, some of the other guy. Kind of not really memorable. Outside of like maybe the bard and the paladin, that was kind of cool, but... Oh my gosh, this is hard. And how haven't I died yet? Ah, that's how I haven't died yet. And that's all my money too. Whatever, I don't need money, I'm good. I could grind money right over here if I wanted to. What's up, team? Elder, Elzadon. The dungeon's heart knows, uh, knows only pride for you two. Amazing, simply amazing. I'm happy to see you. Uh, as I you, my boy. You too, dearest Ember. Anything interesting happened since making your way back to Aftervale? Uh, you could say that. I never forget a friendly face, kid, especially one that has remained complete and intact since last I've seen it. Every one of these brave souled souls have helped me get here to meet you and Ember on your journey. Each one eager and determined to help you take back the dungeon and you succeeded in your mission. To take back the blue flame. I don't remember the skull guy with the big sword. Any of you guys remember seeing him? Who, where did he come from? The humans have built a barricade to keep us out. Like, that's Gub Gub, that's the mage, but who's the sword dude? Was he, like, maybe in the town or something? I think this will uh, think this will keep us out. Think again. Let's blow this thing to pieces. Boom. And then there's May May, was his name? I don't remember. See that boy? That's the effect you had. Ah, uh, that is who moves you uh, to succeed. I don't know what to say. Now is not the time for saying, it's the time for doing. That barricade gone, the path into the blue flame shrine is clear. Go and do it when you must, my boy. This band of dungeon dwellers will be making its way to the Grand Halls. Who knows? I may even see you sooner than that. We'll see you there. 
to everyone here. For the dungeon! For the dungeon! Alright, adios. Grand Halls, pretty cool. Is there anything else I need to know? Is there anything else going in here? Alright, so we're going inside this cathedral looking place. Where is everyone? Right behind you, beast. I'm not seen until I want to be. I know that voice. It's the human that kidnapped me. What? So good of you to remember me, Bat. I will remember you too, if it's any consolation. The name is Sage, by the way. Sage Underhand. I will be your assassin today. You should have halted your pursuit. This wouldn't have happened if you'd stuck your little corn stuck to your little corner of the dungeon and let us pass through. But you can but you keep coming, and I can't very well get on with my commander's wishes with you two hanging around. So if you don't mind, I think I'll just get to it. Let's not. Okay, that hurt. It's like kamikaze right through me for damage. That's lame. Ow, ow, whoa, whoa, hey! Yeah, I can't afford these little kamikaze hits. So I'm just gonna lead to where you end to teleport at. And then I'll just, like, shred you. What the heck are these things? Tarot cards. Whoa, those blow up too. That actually hurts. Can you stop? Ah, oh, nice. Landed one right back at him. Okay, that teleportation is terrible, actually. There we go. Oh, dude, no! No, absolutely not! No way! That was, like, all four? Wow, man. Are you kidding me? That was, like, all four of, like, the little... Shadows just all took all of my big old health in two seconds. Ah, oh, come on, dude. I don't die against these bosses, man. All of the little shadows just got me. Wow, though. That's... What are the odds of that happening? I guess I stood too close. I had one more little sword swipe left, too. Oh my gosh! Aha! Two deaths against this guy! I stood right there and I ate those knives! I ate like 20 knives for breakfast, dude! No way! And I took four hits right there just from being in the same spot as him. I wonder what the lights actually do. I see that the lights... Like, they light up. See that right there? It's just a massive amount of damage. I can't stand way too close to that or else it's over.
Oh my gosh, help me. This is my last ounce of health. I don't have any more magic. There we go. Wow, that was tough. That's for kidnapping my friend. That's for making us fight a bard and a paladin. Let's get out of here, Ember. We have to catch up with the humans. Okay, we got this. Oh, nice upgrade. Okay, so thank you. Needed that. That was a hard boss. Ah, Skull and Ember, I had no doubt you'd end up here. So I decided to depart from the other dwellers to intercept you here. Why? Because I told you I would be here for this when the time came, and so... Ah, Kirpa. Well met, El Zidane. Here on official business. Scully, meet Kirpa. She's the keeper of the crypt. Kirpa makes sure oral histories of the dungeon dwellers are written and archived. Once they've been through their remembrance and can accurately recount their stories... Uh, remembrance? Well put, El Zidane. That fluffy gentleman is Grendel. He single-handedly is responsible for all the monuments you will see down here. Speaking of, I don't think I've seen you down here before, Scully. We'd like to visit the boy's memorial plot. I'm not sure that now's the best time. Plot S732, row 17B. Huh, 17B. That is that is the Citizens of Consequence section. I do so very much look forward to hearing your story, young man. It's time for your remembrance, Scully. Let's go. All right, we're going to find out. I'm... I'm... You are Sullivan, son of the king. The very same king. Who has fallen ill and who has inspired this terrible mission. Oh, to steal away the blue flame in an attempt to prolong his life. The human king is my father? Plot twist. I am his son... He is dying. Your name is Sullivan, I remember. I once led me other men deep down into this very dungeon, knowingly risking my life against my father's wishes to seek something very similar to this commander, an understanding of how to create life from death. And while I was down here, I died. But how can you know all that and allow me to be part of the dungeon? How can you possibly allow me to? A very wise young man once told me, who you were is not who you are. Listen to Eldazon, young one. Elzadon. I leave regrets to the elderly. Utilize what you know, your warrior instincts, your ability to lead, your unfailing morality. Uh, yeah, morality. And use it to keep our dungeon safe. Hoorah! He basically says I agree. Besides that, uh, where your journey now will show you that anyone is capable of folly. Let's continue down the Hall of the Fallen, my boy. Goodbye, Kirpa Grendel. Dang, plot twist. Plot twist, uh, hello? I do not want you to begin this next part of your journey without all the cards on the table, especially with what just transpired at your remembrance. The story goes as follows. He arrived centuries ago, a powerful sorcerer looking for a forgotten place to practice forbidden witchcraft. He would never have dabbled with such dark magic. Were it not for the fact that he had suffered a most profound and devastating loss, this powerful warlock chose the underground as his staging area to attempt to bring his true love back to life. To his surprise, the magic worked in a manner of speaking. For you see, the magic demanded a most devastating payment for its success, the remainder of the pair's natural life. Holy... The sorcerer and his lady love were indeed able to continue existing, only not as humans. Both the sorcerer and his love were doomed to roam the dungeons as skeletal remains. And if that wasn't strange enough, the dark magic lingered and it changed. It began to concentrate into a single area burning as a bright, cool to the touch blue flame. You see, using the magic such as he did with love as the motivation for its manifestation, it changed the magic, corrupted it utterly, morphed it and its power became undying and wholly converted to its new purpose. Were anyone else to pass from the mortal realm in the glow of its eternal light, they too would live after death. Which is how, my dear boy, you, me, and the rest of the citizens in the dungeon 
continue to live in a manner of speaking to this very day. It is that which we gaze upon at this very moment, the most abundant and concentrated form of blue flame magic, along with this monument to the sorcerer, the source of his own shame. Well, that's it. The impossible has happened. I'm completely speechless. It was you. You're the first dungeon dweller? I've hid this from all but you two. I've never been able to truly face it. The shame and guilt I've carried with me every day, having taken away the choice to continue onward and the on the natural path to the afterlife. Not just for me and my dear Eloise, but for each and every soul in the underground. I know all this is crazy, but Bone Broth Lady and the Elder are, are hitched? What? Oh, Elzadon. However, young Scully, your wisdom and your understanding of nature is human and otherwise have very recently freed me from the shackles of my shame. I first came here seeking eternal life, long before you or this batch of humans did. So I descended into the depths intent on changing the nature of life itself. But the truth is that it simply does not matter, Scully. What I did, what you could have done, is immaterial at this point. It is moot. What you are doing, that's who you are. You saved my mind from the brink because you are right. Uh, who I was is not who I am. Elder Elzadon, you should have never felt that way. You have uh, you have given all of us dungeon dwellers an opportunity to be completely reform um, who we were. Uh, a chance to live again forever, many of us with the people we love. I understand you're wanting to apologize for upsetting the natural order, but like it or not, it has created a wonderful new life for a lot of us. Oh, Scully, they don't make them much more rare than you. What the? The commander... No, 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 no. I've lost it. I've doomed the dungeon. Scully, you and uh, Ember have single-handedly brought the dungeon back from the brink of utter ruin throughout your journeys to come so far and to give in now. Why? Because another human has made another mess and you have to begin another pursuit? You are destined to be victorious, my dear boy, not merely due to who you are, but more pointedly the most incredible parts of who you were. Besides, our cloaked friend is going to have quite the time getting out of the dungeon. Uh, with, uh, what? With all of our friends taking the fight to them and theirs. Very well, time has come. I know that the aim of the humans is to save the king, my father. And, but one life versus thousand of lives, plane of existence notwithstanding. I cannot allow the humans to take the blue flame. Come, Ember, we must find and face the commander. We're taking the dungeon back. Let's get him, Skulls. Thank you for showing me all this, Elzadon. If it proves to be the last time I see you, let them know I fought as much as I could for the dungeon and all dungeon kind. I'm so proud of you, my boy. All right, well, that's interesting. So, big old plot twist right over there. Wow, what do you think is gonna happen now? What do you think is going to happen now? Am I supposed to go somewhere to backtrack? Remind me, was I supposed to go somewhere? and spend some money in order to get like another potion. I'm kind of remembering, like there was a lot of story over there. I just don't remember um, if I was gonna go one spot. And if, oh, the forest place? I went to the forest place. I went there. I need 160 to go where though? Commander, well. Are you ready, Skulls? Of course, it's us against them. You know what? I'm okay. I don't need to backtrack. Let's just go. Oh man, so this is like the final, this is probably like the final boss. Oh, can I do this? Yeah, wait, that doesn't only, that only does 50 damage to throw that thing on there? Oh my gosh. Who in the world are you? I can't even see you! Yo, it doesn't block. Whoa! Whoa, dang. This guy does not even block. Oh, those are spikes, great.
Why is that a hard jump for me? It's not. Guess what? Wait, wait, wait I can't duck under that? Ah! Uh, <laughs> Yo, stop dying! Ooh! It's this guy's fault. Oh, I have a piece of metal that I wanted to bring back. Yeah, I'm going out. I'm going back. Remember, we, we can upgrade our sword. That's the thing that I wanted to do. Wait a second. Okay, okay. Yo, is Konami still in the house? Yo, Konami, if you're still here, drop me a hint. Is there more, like, sword upgrades? That I just missed? Okay, here's the crypt and then this place. I just gotta go all the way back. Oh my gosh. I was just looking at the, the little menu for all of our stuff. And it shows the sword and like all the different power-ups. Oh my gosh, where the heck are the rest of them? Interesting. All right, make this sword. I see you found some rare metal. Yep, yep, let's make it happen, Cap'n. Okay, so Swordmaster, max damage achieved. Nobody messes with the Bone Man. Uh, is this thing even a sword anymore? It seems more like a one-hit kill machine. All right, so looking at this inventory, it shows that like two of them are shadowed, right? The top left and the bottom right are shadowed, meaning that they're somewhere else in the game. But if this is the same area, or if this is the last area, where the heck are they? Curious, sir. I don't know. Do not know. I thought we were doing really good with, um... With exploring outside of, like, asking for a hint on that silly little eyeball which was really just for some health, but now that our sword's stronger, we should be able to deal a lot more damage. No thanks. <laughs> just power, uh, power blast right through those dudes. Okay, here we go. Now back to work. Huh. What's over here? Oh, big boy. Yeah, I'm supposed to go this way. Oh, uh, there's actually two paths I can take. Wow. And it comes back to him. I keep on eating these little arrows. Who's throwing these? Oh, it's the automatic firing things. Mushrooms, here we go. Oh man, let's do some platforming, shall we? What? Oh, oh my gosh, there were there were spikes hidden inside there? All right, I'm done collecting money, man. Forget it. I'm collecting deaths now. Yeah. 
I knew I would. Oh my gosh, I knew it, man. Do not touch a mushroom, it will end to your timely demise. Like, everything's hidden in, like, some sort of brush. And I can't see that. Uh, I don't need any crystals. Wow, okay, that's cool. That's fine. Wow, though. Oh, get out of here. Oh, look at that. I made it. I died right at the checkpoint. <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. All right, here we go. Here we go. I am going to go through here. Now I need to pretty much use everything I've learned in order to get through this last portion. There's a key right there. It's kind of cool. Oh. Alligators? No thanks. Remember I got eaten by an alligator just once? Oh, sweet. Oh, get out of here! Ugh! Oh, those little bounces, though? Oh my gosh, they're so hard. I can't even triple jump over that. Dead! Okay, that's fine. Oh! Yo, these deaths are coming right at me, guys. I gotta calm down and stop getting flustered. What? What do you mean? <laughs> I didn't even. <laughs> uh, 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 yo, the deaths are coming now. Yo, do we even know? No one even knows what's the death count, man. Destroying me. No. Okay. Poison darts. I don't need that. I don't think I'm going back. This is like the point of no return. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. I ate all of them on the way down. Uh, ooh. Wow, though. Do I have to do this? I want to get out of here. Maybe. I ate all of them on the way down. So crazy. Just got poisoned, by the way. What do I need this money for? If this is the point of no return, what's the point of getting this money? Big money, though. Yow. Oh, almost dead. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, that was nice. Uh, was that easy? Yep, that was easy. Super simple. 
Ow, right in the head, thank you. Ow, thank you. Okay, weird. That's not even a block. Okay, great. I don't know if that's how I was supposed to do that level, but I don't care. <laughs> I think I cheesed that. Alright, anyway. Oh, don't touch me. I'm running out of stamina. Drop me. Okay. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. <sighs> Shredded. Ow, ow, wow, wow. Okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oof, no. Whew. These trials, man. Fireboy. Fireboy's got nothing on me. Let's go. Ow. Oh my gosh. My health. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it. Okay. No more careless deaths. Give up, undead filth. I'm leaving with the flame and nothing you can do will stop me. Think about what you're doing. You're dooming thousands of souls to sudden eternal death. They won't even get to say goodbye. They should have said goodbye eons ago. You believe I should feel remorse for the unnaturally alive? I know what you plan on doing with that magic. And that... Is that not unnatural as well? Is permanently prolonging the life of your king one man, not thousands, one? Is that also not unnatural? Uh, my lord has the power to change this world. You and your kind simply live in it, in a manner of speaking. Give me the blue flame. But of course, here you are. Come take it. How? How can you possibly be okay with doing this? The dungeon and its people have done nothing to you, nothing. Accept it, our time has come. Human life. The one filled with pain and miserably short will finally have its day. Our people and our kingdom will be whole again. Many people, undead and beast alike, do not deserve to die. You will return the flame to me. Now. Ember. I, I wasn't trying to hit her. I was aiming for the walls, trying to trap you in while I... Ember? You shouldn't have followed me. No, no, I can't. I can't do this without you. You're my only true friend. Scully. Ember, no! You, oh my gosh, no way. You, you have to, you have to stop that horrible human. No, I don't care, we're done. I won't watch you die. So the thing is, the commander has the blue flame. Do you remember why we care about that? The blue flame keeps the dungeon dwellers alive. After they, gah! But I can't just leave you here. What if she escapes? What if I fail? The closer she gets to leaving the dungeon, the more the magic fades. So, go, or that will definitely happen. Don't die, I'm coming back with that flame. Scully, say it. I won't, I can't. Please, Scully, say it just in case. It's not gonna happen, but just in case. Goodbye, I love you. <laughs> it's time for your awakening, Commander. Oh, dang! Oh, man. Ember, though. Oh, you ready for this? My one HP? Oh, you want some of this? One HP? I can't even heal. Oh my gosh, I'm dead. Stupid fire guy. Don't burn me. You or your twin. Oh, dead! I saw those flames and I'm like, I gotta run. Oh, two flame hits. Listen, Jonathan. <laughs> Jonathan of the dev team. Wow. 
Wow, that was close. Oh, you think I need that though? You think I need that gigantic crystal? I'm not going back, right? We're not going back to after Vale. Huh, I see. So you're not allowing me to, oh! You're not allowing me to wall jump on that. Ow, dude, chill. Oh. Come on, leap of faith. That's lame. Mwah. Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> I love that platforming, man. It's so much fun. The final battle has to be. Just let me leave. Accept it. The time for the dead to continue living has ended. No. You think of us as unnatural, which is incredible considering what you plan to do. But you, you are a beast yourself. You killed my only true friend. You will not win... I will not fail. This ends now. Ren Ren. Ren Ren. Uh oh, the plot thickens. Uh oh. Sullivan? Can it possibly be true? Serenity, my sister, daughter of the king, princess of the human realm. What in the name of creation have you become? What have you allowed yourself to become? My father, our father, Sully. He dies as we speak. You gave your life coming here to secure this magic once. You said you'd come back and share it with all, but you've never returned. Let me leave with the magic. I will avenge you, complete your mission, and save our father. I will end this fight and restore the kingdom and fulfill your greatest quest. For what I would have done, I deserve to die. I was wrong and so are you. I cannot allow you to leave too many face annihilation in your wake. Please don't make me fight you, return the flame to me. I can't, I must complete my mission. I'm sorry it comes to this brother. Okay, hello, hi. Ow, 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 get off. Oh, nice dash. Ow, dude. Okay, easy. Mmm, healing up, are we? Yeah, there we go. Eat that. Wow, right through me. Was that it? I only ask of one thing, if I am to die. No. Wound me mortally so that I may first leave the dungeon. I can't. And travel to the same afterlife as our father. You have to understand. I'll never stop coming, I cannot. I love you, Ren Ren. I love you too, Sullivan. Oh my gosh. Sullivan, by the hands of the fates, don't. She knows not what she does. Like you, she moved into this dungeon with a selfless but flawed purpose. But sweet, 
brave, foolish serenity. It is not the way. You see your brother, you see the fate which he was met. My boy, my dear Sullivan, how my heart has sat at its absolute depths since you've been gone. I should have done everything in my power to stop you from coming here. I've failed you both as a leader and as your father, and now I stand to have lost you both. And that will well and truly mark the end of my days. You have failed no one, Father. You are a savior of our people. I remember you in life, my lord. You are the greatest king to ever rule over the human realm. We were both too ambitious. We were both too brazen. We wanted to gift everlasting life to ourselves and our kind instead of living and thriving in the one life we were gifted. My dear wise children, you truly are incredible. Scully, how I would have wished to have spent more time with you. Alas, the hours grow short and my end is near. I would ask that you allow your sister to leave with to leave me in peace and spend time with me as I naturally drift into the final season of my life. Father? Yes, Sullivan. While I appreciate your bravery in the face of certain peril, can you try to tack on an extra final hour onto your life? I'm sorry, I don't. Please, just stay. I have no time to explain, but I'll be back soon. We gotta go save someone, right? I fear it may be too late, my boy. The dungeon grew weak as the blue flame got nearer to the human realm. It may have been too far away to sustain her. You're the reason for all of it, Ember. I did it all for you, so you can't leave, Bat. You are my greatest reason, because I love you, Ember. Please don't let go, please. Elzadon, the blue flame, it's glowing. It's your body, my boy. This flame was created from the love for for another whoa the source is, the source senses the power of your bond with ember your remembrance is complete while your bonds to those you loved in the land of the living have not diminished your love of the dungeon and your determination to protect all who dwell within it has caused the blue flame to permeate even the darkest corners of our realm ember please come back skulls your breath Please get it away from my nose. So very bad. You're back. Oh, sweet underworld. You're back. Yeah, you did it, Skulls. But please stop squeezing me. I'm going to puke. Holy creep. I knew you could do it, Scully. I knew you'd save me. I never doubted it for a second. I love you, Bat. I know. Elzadon, I need to go. I have one more thing I have to do. Then I'll need your help. Anything for you, my boy. Off you go. All hail Scully. Dang, and the king, oh no, the king did not have an extra final hour. The king's gone. Savior of the dungeon, ward of the blue flame. My dear kinfolk, demon folk, and no skin folk. A lot of you have spoken to me in the days since returning from my journey. Of my bravery, of my willingness to fight, of my victory against our foe of the day. But never ever forget that each and every one of you took up charge to defend the dungeon too. And then, once the invasion has ended, you put our communities back together piece by piece. So I say unto all of you, no one here has earned the title of hero more than you. But today, we're here to celebrate something else entirely. There now exists in our lands an unfathomable, unbreakable bond between the realm of the dead and the realm of the living. And believe me, I understand detractors. After all, humans have been invading our home. For power and glory for a very long time, so what reason could we possibly have to trust them now? Yeah, exactly. Allow me to introduce the reason to you right now. Serenity, this is my sister, the princess of the human realm. Our father is the former king of the human realm, instilled in us many values, namely those of honor, loyalty, conviction, and kindness. And though we can both be accused of having become overzealous a few times in our lives and afterlives, you reckless dummy. Thank you, Ember. As I was saying, we can never be uh, accused of not eventually succumbing to those values that were passed on to us, and so I will let Serenity take it from here. As a newly crowned queen of the human realm, I hereby swear everlasting peace between the human kingdom and the dungeons. This is assured in uh, perpetuity for all time by your newest additions to the dungeons. Please wish an amazing awakening to my father, the former king of humans. 
If nothing else will make you believe and appreciate my decree, know that this selfish human and this reckless skeleton would never allow harm to come this way. The human king was Scully the Savior's dad? That he was, my friend. And that is how you know this peace agreement is to be upheld for good. I don't understand, Sullivan. Where do I go from here? And who exactly was I but you, you're in Serenity's father? Was I really a king? You really were, Papa, an incredible one at that. And you'll have plenty of time to remember soon enough. But for now, as you once taught me how to live, I will teach you how to make the most of death. Just don't ask him how not to be scared of suddenly swooping bats. Thanks, Ember. You're welcome, Skulls. Can we be friends? Sure thing, Fleshbag. The end. What did you think? Three and a half hours? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. What did you guys think of it? Cool game, huh? Oh, I think the artwork was amazing. I thought, like, I love the fact that I just, like, you could short hop <laughs> double aerial <laughs> and just completely demolish everything in the game. So, yeah. I don't know if that was the intention, but the last boss was very, very easy because I was doing that. The last boss had like three health bars, but by that time, I was just able to destroy her. But yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Tell me what you thought about it in the comments. Uh, I Combat Carl says pretty awesome. Biwa says it was pretty great. Um, Christy said you enjoyed the dialogue. H. Fenton says the story and the dialogue were great. Absolutely. The writing, Little Carrot says the writing, the storyline was amazing. It was good. It was absolutely good. Uh, Tyra Tubing says it was a really cool game. Yeah, dude, I thought it was fun. And like, getting it on the Nintendo eShop, super easy. Now, I don't know if I uncovered all of the actual secrets. I don't think I did. I think there's probably like some more hidden secrets within the game. So I'm really curious to see if any of you guys can come up with anything like that. Because remember, we were looking at it and we saw that there was like two more sword upgrades somewhere. I don't know. Before ending off the game, or before ending off the stream, after the credits roll, I'll jump into the save file, and then we can see if we get, like, a new game plus, if we're just stuck at the point of no return before the boss fight, um, or if something else is going on, like, a new area opens up. I would really like it if that was the case. Like, there was really maybe two or three parts in the game that I found the platforming elements really, really enjoyable. It was the last part before the boss where it's just, like, oh, the rubble's falling behind us and we have to, you know, use our wall jumping skills that we learned about and our fast dashes in order to get through. I like that. And I also really enjoyed the part where there was like the acrobatics course where I did that one on my first try. That was awesome. So I wanted more of that, you know what I mean? Because like, if there was a harder section, maybe for like an alternate costume, um, I don't know, alternate bat, maybe something up with the uber bat, I don't know. But again, this is just like a casual playthrough of like of the game. So it's up to you guys to jump in and see what kind of secrets are left for everyone. But it was cool. And shout out to our friends over at Konami that hooked us up. And we are doing a giveaway too. So make sure you guys check that out. Giveaway on Twitter. It's on my pinned comment or my pinned tweet. So here we go. Uh, this is continue. Uh, let's see, a whole bunch of people. If we click on continue, skeleton attack. Yeah, so it looks like from here, um, really what it is at the end is if you want to backtrack all the way through, you can probably go back to the area and your older stuff, but this is like where the boss battle is, and you're just going to fight her again and then win. So it's pretty much saving right before that. Yeah, I don't think you can skip that. Look at this little animation, though. Look, he's holding the bat, right? He's holding the little bat facing forward. That's kind of ironic. Interesting. You can hold the A button, too. Like, look at this. Imagine if you could do this in Animal Crossing, right? Imagine. I don't know if the game, like, is supposed to mean for you to do these, like, short hop double aerials, man.
<laughs> Short hop double air heals, man. I have so much health at this point. And crit attacks? We didn't even see her get to use her moves, man. We didn't even get to see her use her moves. That's it. GG's. <laughs> yes! Alright, interesting, interesting. Guys, well, that's it. That's gonna be the game. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was pretty great. It, it was a cool... Cool couple of hours to just kind of go through and just explore. I thought that the platforming elements are really cool. The storyline was great. Um, all that, man. Definitely consider picking it up on whatever platforms you guys have. Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, PC. Anywho. That's it. I don't think there's anything in settings. Look at that controller. Uh, interact, magic, jump, inventory, switch, magic, move, sound effects, volume, and that's really it. And then you can make a new game if you really wanted to. So there's that. Yeah, cool, right? All right, well, thanks again to our friends over at Konami for providing us a code. If you guys didn't already see on my channel, we do have this little giveaway tweet uh, right over here. We've got a couple things going on, so make sure you guys take a look at that. I will post this in the chat right now. I'll copy paste it so that you guys can uh, know where to find it. Uh, jump in, click on that. Uh, giveaway entry details below. We can see here it's pretty much following Skill Attack, follow Konami, and then follow me. Retweet the tweet above this one, and then reply with what you enjoyed most about the gameplay that you saw on the stream. Two Nintendo Switch codes, one Steam code will be given out to the winners chosen on 610. So that's a week from now. So we'll come back, and then I'll uh, randomly grab people in the comments of this tweet, and uh, I'll follow you, DM you the codes, and then you guys will enjoy it. So it'll be super fun. All right. Well, talk to you guys later. We got a lot happening on the channel, so make sure that you guys stick around. Um, we're going to be doing Paper Mario very soon. I know a lot of you guys were asking, so spread the word. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, a little bit more Animal Crossing as well, so definitely take a look at that. But above all else, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like on the video right over here. If you enjoyed the gameplay, if you enjoyed the commentary, if you enjoyed everything that we just did over here, that would be wonderful and appreciated. Click on the subscribe button. Uh, there's gonna be some things on screen that you can continue watching on my YouTube channel. But other than that, have a great rest of your day. And uh, yeah, go tell Konami what a good job uh, they did with uh, picking up this game. So anyway, talk to you later. We'll see you on the next one.